Welcome, well, I don't even know, wait, why, I, it, it, hold on, when, is it recording? Okay, it is recording. Welcome yes. everybody to say farewell. That's right, we're not saying hello, we're saying goodbye. Shout out, Beatles, Google that and you'll get it. But tonight, don't Google the Beatles, Google Mega64 farewell tour because tonight we are putting up and releasing the ultimate live blu-ray now a lot of people have done live blu-ray re releases before yeah uh queen has one coming out which i didn't even know they're still banned but they're doing live aid which i guess was good um prince did a live blu-ray once the beatles pff, they gave up doing live shows they didn't do they didn't do shit just that rooftop thing. Yeah. Well, you couldn't. And that get, sucked. Couldn't book a venue. Like, yeah. like I go on the roof right now. You know, like, okay. What are they? How are the acoustics going to sound? It's the sky. Exactly. Like, you're hearing traffic. Yeah. You're, oh, Southwest Airlines is going by. I'll take a Sprite, please. Yeah. Our blue, live Blu-ray, the Mega 64 Farewell Tour, I'm going to say is bar none better than any of those. We've got m way more skits than the Beatles or Queen ever did. Mm -hmm. So the comedy is already done deal. Like, what are they doing? Ooh, yeah. Uh, I'm the walrus. Ooh. Great. Yeah, funny sketch. We did way better sketches. And uh, you're just going to be amazed at what you see. So uh, this live tour Blu-ray, we've been working on this. It's been in the pipeline for a while. Finally coming out tonight. We're here. We're going to count down to it. You know, all the other guys wanted to be here, but they all go to bed early. Yeah, oh, yeah. past their bedtime. Oh, I'm gonna be in. Oh, I'm gonna be in Betty by by the Sean's time that happens. Butts to wipe all night. Sean's wiping butts and yep. and oh, I, oh, I had a nightmare. That's it. He's dealing yep. with that. Exactly. Everybody's dealing with their own uh, whatever. But we were the ones that could stick it out. We've been drinking uh, Celsius energy drinks all day. <laughs> We've been drinking to Fuck get that. ready. Yeah, and just drinking, just alcohol. <laughs> yeah. No, that's not that's not true. Yesterday, I'm not going to say. No, you know what? We could say it. I'll I'll say that. I mean, I don't mean to get away from the farewell you put tour me on stuff. blast right now. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I'm not going to put you on blast. Oh, okay. But we did go. I could say where we went. Yeah. Because I'll, I'll, I'll let everyone know coming soon. Yeah, we got caught. We got some people who know already. That's right. They were at, there. The, at the park. Knott's Boysenberry Festival 2024. Yep. Editing a whole video of it together. But we were there yesterday and it's coming soon. Anyway, the reason why I bring it up is. Again, they started adding uh, those those uh, t the tickets you get where you could choose six yeah, different. Yeah, foods. The, the tasting cards. That show got a lot more chaotic once they added drinks to that. Mm -hmm. Isn't it funny? I feel like when we started, it wasn't like that. It yeah, was yeah. like, oh, you could get a, a poisonberry meatball, or yeah. you could get There's a lot more drinks, hummus. Yeah, now it's like, oh no, I've had drinks at half of these things. I feel like <laughs> I feel like it got people uh, got. Uh, what am I trying to say here? Went further away than they intended to <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> Would you say? Oh, I wasn't even see. I wasn't even pointing to you <laughs> no, when I said that. I was. But I'm saying I talked to multiple people yesterday oh, that were yeah. like, "Uh oh, yeah. oh, I just wanted to try all and, these, and, and I think I tried too much." Multiple and, people will get a drink and they go like, "That that's just alcohol. That's not." anything that's like it's mm -hmm. like 90 percent alcohol like 10 percent. You, you will see in the video i like you know i'll still try this stuff i don't really drink i'll still try it all whatever i tried too much yep <laughs> yeah one of the drinks i forget which one but one that i tried yesterday it was when sarah handed it to me and was like you could try this just promise we'll still be friends and i went <laughs> okay like, what's the big deal what? and i'm smelling it it's just boysenberry i'm like this doesn't it's fine yeah it's yeah, yeah, it's gonna be like punch. I'm sure that it'll be have a little bit of that, that gross taste to it. Okay, fine. And it it was just alcohol. There yep. was no boysenberry yep. in that. It was like, I, mm, it was like fire. Anyway, so look forward to that. Yes. But that's not what we're talking about tonight. No, tonight we're talking about. Don't worry, guys. I am over 21. So don't don't cause any. Yeah, my rumors. favorite, I will see it, but you kept oh. you kept saying, "Am I gonna be like this forever?" <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> well, I thought you were gonna say there actually was a Mega sixty four fan at the festival. Oh yeah, yeah I was yeah. like, "What'd you get?" And he showed one of the alcoholic yeah. drinks, and I and I I went, "Yo, you twenty <laughs> one? Yeah? yeah, okay, you're good. All right, you good. You're good. You're good. You passed the test. Cool. All right, you passed. Um, anyway, I had a lot of fun yesterday. Yeah, it was. Uh, 
even though when we when we got there, it was like last year when we went to Boysenberry Festival, it, the park was so empty. We thought maybe we weren't supposed to be there. Yeah, it was like, it, is it closed? Now we got the opposite. And then yesterday was the most packed I've ever seen it on a weekday, and it was like, uh oh. But you know, despite all that, had a great day. Yeah, we still we still got everything done, and we had yeah, a good day. It was very very fun. So look forward to that soon. Got so all, all everybody went. It was a lot of fun. So yeah, see it soon. But that's not what we're talking about tonight. Mm -hmm. Tonight, the Mega 60 War Farewell Tour Blu-ray is coming out. Now, I do need to um, tend to the socials. I do need to post that this stream okay. is happening. Okay. So I'm gonna if there's something you guys could talk about that something like I'm not interested in, so that I won't uh, want to interject. Yeah. You know what I mean? So okay, go go guys, for it. Yeah, yeah. Guys, I'm gonna do be updating work. the site through the night because I have to add the Blu-ray. Well, let me let me just preface this first. Yeah. The Blu-ray bundle is going up tonight. The Blu-ray itself is going up tonight. Yes. All the farewell tour stuff going up on shop.mega64.com mm -hmm. tonight. But in addition to that, there's all kinds of rare tour stuff we just had sitting in the Mega 64 vault over here. Stuff from uh, past shows, past tours, yep. random stuff that we only have maybe a few of. And we're just going to throw them on there too. There's going to be rare treats. And this is what's going to rule is you guys watching... Uh, we're going to go, it's a little less than two. We're going to make it all go live at 9 p.m. Eastern, not, yeah. not Pacific. Yep. We're going to actually do it. For, we're going to be good to the East Coast people this time. No, 9 p.m. Uh, it's going to be midnight over there. Yes, yes, yes. But uh, yeah, I'm, oh yeah, yeah. 9 yeah. p.m. here. Yeah. I, I can't not mix that up. <laughs> I know. Me but uh, midnight Eastern. Yes. So that people could get, a, a, you know, an earlier shot at it. Yep. And let me tell you, you guys watching, it's going to rule because you're going to get first dibs on all this stuff. There's definitely, I'll tell you right now, stuff that will be sold out by the morning that everyone's going to be mad about where they're going to be like, no, they had that. And it's like, yep. Be on, be on the ball, bro. Um, so I need to get those things ready and make sure the store is fortified because yeah, yeah. I'm scared. Again, scared the servers you know could have an issue, might melt down or something to that effect. So I'm going to tend to that right now. So okay. yeah, you guys talk about something, something I I don't care about because I if I interject, it's going to take time yeah, away. Yeah. So okay, do ahead. your work. Don't worry about it, Johnny. Okay. Did you see the Matrix Five stuff? Okay, oh, yeah. I, I just have one. Mm. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so Matrix Five. Let, no, you have work to do. This is between us. Uh, it looked pretty sick. I uh, I heard that uh, Drew Goddard is going to be directing it, who uh, uh, worked on a couple of Lost episodes. <laughs> yeah. And, um, uh, Rocco, you're, this yeah, is you're between welcome. me and Johnny. Honestly, you have a lot of work to do, and you need to be leaving us <laughs> yeah. alone. Yeah, you need to be leaving us alone. Um, yeah, I, I'm excited. Uh, yeah, the Wachowskis aren't attached to, no. to direct, but I think they are producing. producing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's pretty so, crazy. Yeah. That um, I don't know what episodes of Lost were connected. Yeah, like, me like, either. So we'll, we'll, we'll figure I out never later. Really I never really Shh. watched Lost, so I have like no. Yeah, I've uh, never like honestly, I don't know the like the director or, or writer or anything. anything like that. I honestly, I don't even know the Matrix. I heard like, that they like all died in the end or something. Yeah, I yeah, heard that's that too. How I heard how so. It ended. Um. So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so I'm excited for Matrix Five. Um, I'm looking forward to the continuation of Matrix Four. Yeah, uh, or reboot. I don't. I don't know. Uh, honestly, nobody knows anything about the Matrix or this director. And so, uh, oh, did did you hear that they showed a bunch of new animatronics? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Disneyland um, animatronics. I don't, I don't know. What it's I th for. I think they're like building a new ride that they haven't announced yet. Yeah, all I saw like, were those beignets. Yeah, I think it's like beignet the ride. Yeah, beignet. and I don't know if they're doing it in DCA, beignet, building. or in Disneyland yeah. itself, or some third park that they haven't announced yet. But the animatronics look really cool, and so um, we'll see. We'll see what happens with those. They may not even. It, it could be just a rumor. They could yeah. have just not like, just not be real, and they're just uh, scrapping oh. in the whole idea of that. Kevin, uh, did yeah. you hear who they announced for Power Morphicon? Who? Who did they announce uh, for Power? Uh, Austin St. John. Uh, the, Whoa. The Red Ranger. After all that stuff, they still announced. Yeah. Announce. I yeah heard that, he, that's I heard crazy. <laughs> Drew Goddard directed the episode <laughs> Outlaws. In season one of Lost, there was an episode called Outlaws about Sawyer. Uh, no, about... Uh, wait, was it about Kate? No, it was about Sawyer. It was the one... Uh, where uh, Lostopedia. The, yes, he. Uh, a name. He thought um, he was given. Uh, is this when he shot the dude? Yeah, when he shot the dude at the shrimp truck. Yeah, Drew Goddard. That was a good episode. Yeah. 
So I'm you finished your work saying. real quick. <laughs> Yeah, actually, what the hell? You know what? I did. Actually, <laughs> I actually did. I actually did did my work. Is it uh, Drew? I, I always just say Drew Goddard. I, I've never said it any other way. Is it Goddard? I don't know. It could be. Chat. Yeah. I've Let me know. Him. I'm not sure. Because I know him from Cabin in the Woods. I liked Cabin in the Woods. Wait. Too. I think I saw that one time. I thought that was weird. <laughs> yeah, I thought. I thought. I can't remember. If I, I thought liked it that or not. was a Joss Whedon thing, but maybe he just directed it. Does anybody know? Uh, Saba 22, thanks for your sub. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's Godot. <laughs> what? It's not Godot? It's not. Yo, Godot from Phoenix Wright 3. That, that guy's lit. Oh, uh, that guy is lit. We didn't wrote Cabin in the Woods. We didn't, we didn't di wait, I'm sorry, what? He wrote it? He wrote. Okay. That's what I thought. I just knew that he had something to do with it. Um, okay. Yeah. I am just about done here though. Uh, okay. okay. So no, let, let, let's talk. I, I can, you know, I have a little bit of free time here. <laughs> I can talk about stuff now. I do want to actually see the, the Austin St. John sweatshirts. Oh, 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 those are, uh. yeah. So if those who are not familiar, um, the original, the guy who was the original red Ranger, yeah. uh, he was in the news recently because he said he was putting out some, uh, shirts a, a clothing line featuring quotes from famous leaders and warriors good and bad <laughs> good and bad it's like okay and then good, he literally and then he said on the same podcast you know hitler was like a demon on steroids but he had some pretty good one-liners thank you for that um okay. and then uh <laughs> i love jim cummings being like oh you don't say you just see the other guy <laughs> on the podcast go mm. Uh, and no, I think he says, well, I'll be damned. Well, I'll be damned. I'll be <laughs> no one knows <laughs> He's what like to not say. <laughs> yeah, no one knows what to say. Uh, but uh, apparently Austin St. John finally put out his uh, the, 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 the line the collection. of quote. Yeah, the quote collection or whatever. But I got to find it. OK, here it is. Wiseleaderwear.com. Wiseleaderwear. Oh, my God. You guys ready to see it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me take my glasses. This is not. Oh, my God. This is collection is not even worth releasing there's this, so many letters this on is that. like uh uh not etsy but uh like spread shirt just just random shotgun a bunch of quotes in red shitty font on shirts who would buy this yeah. he made it sound like it was a designer <laughs> it, it, you know what i mean it's just well it, some of it looks like it's in cursive <laughs> like it's just a bunch I of i kind of want it i kind of <laughs> The best way to predict the future is create it, Abraham Lincoln. Okay. Guys, please Google this. I, I don't, we have no way. Look up, this. go to wiseleaderware.com. Wiseleaderware.com. There you go. Somebody linked to oh, it. Well, it's the like chat. the worst font. Oh, uh, Do we have the Hitler quote. He, he, he put up a video. He said, guys, there, he, he, act, this, this is what drives me crazy. Yeah. Is he put up a video saying that it's coming out? And then he said, uh, Guys, there, there's no Hitler quote in here. Like, there is not a Hitler shirt. But I have a lot of other great shirts. That, but he looks at you like you're stupid. Yeah. In the podcast, you said there would be. Yeah. 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 He said, uh, I'm going to have quotes from leaders, good and bad. And then he gives props to Hitler. <laughs> so yeah. then in the promo video, he goes, guys, um, there is no Hitler shirt here, idiot. Like, yeah, like, oh, oh, I'm stupid. It reeks of, uh, um, the Joker's not really going to look like that. It's just a tribute. Like, well, you're the one that put that out. Yeah. So oh. I'm the idiot. Someone said there's an Anne Frank quote. Oh, there is an Anne Frank one. Well, oh, here's Aristotle. I'm buy that what, one. What we, what are, what, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. You going to get that? No. It, no. it looks so menacing. It's like a red font on a black shirt. And and it's there, some of these quotes are so long. Who's staring at your shirt this long? Like, and, and you don't want that no. either. Like, like they stare at you that long, you're never going to wear it again. Nope. Okay, here's a Gandhi quote. He, he, Be the change you wish to see in the world. Now, that's good. I, I've seen that in a lot of restaurants yeah. on, the, on the wall. Um, Peter Pan got a quote. Ooh. To live would be an awfully big adventure. Now, that's just a movie quote, though. That's not yeah, a yeah. leader in history. So where's Hitler? Um, What's this super one? Peter Pan was kind of like a oh, an elf a on a adrenochrome, um, but he had some good one-liners. <laughs> but he had some good one-liners. Okay, this is the longest this one. This is a long one. Sojourner Truth quote? I don't know Number who, two. who is that. If the first... This is on a shirt. 
This yeah. is taking up the whole front of the yeah, shirt. Yeah, like the whole thing. If the first woman ever made was strong enough to turn the world upside down all alone, these women together ought to be able to turn it back and get it right side up again. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Someone in chat said, so no Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then the other Sojourner, Sojourner Truth uh, quote is, ain't I a woman? Ain't I a woman? Yeah, that sounds like a Bugs Bunny thing. <laughs> eh, ain't I a woman? Sounds like woke Bugs Bunny. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, okay, I mean, Spartan Warrior. There is a Spartan on there. That's cool. That <laughs> and that word. like this is a terrible. Shirt. Th- yeah, because you can so see bad. the square. The, the square of the design it is does, just. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't even give a give a transparent. And, and I guarantee artwork. it will come like that. It'll have mm-hmm. that square on it because that's how they w- always do it. But this is like, this is just like print on demand. Like, yeah. uh, hey, I thought he designed that's stuff. AI. I think it is. I think you're right. That's totally AI. I think you're right. That's AI. Wise Spartan. leader wear. Oh, man. Very cool. Well, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mother Teresa got General Patton's in there. Ooh. Where are the bad ones? He said there would be yeah. bad bad leaders. He he he's saving them or you know. or scrapped them because of the <laughs> stuff on the podcast. I just love that he acted like we were stupid. Yeah. That just drives me nuts. Anyway, yeah. he got invited to Power Morphicon, so you could you know everybody was really stoked about that. <laughs> um. Anyway, someone no. said they're Stalin quotes. They're, oh, that really they're Stalin I don't quotes. Know. Maybe they're. Oh, it's multiple pages. Yeah, they're joking. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Rosa Parks, so far so good. Yeah, yeah. Sun Tzu, was he good? I don't know anything about Sun Tzu. Maybe um, not. Maybe not. The, oh, okay, Theodore Roosevelt actually does have the longest That's one. That's the longest one. That's crazy. Far, okay, ready? This is all on a shirt. Yeah. Far, better, far better is it to dare mighty things, to win glorious triumphs, even through checkered even though checkered by failure than to rank with those poor spirits who neither enjoy much nor suffer much because they live in the gray twilight that knows not victory nor defeat. That's, that's too much on a shirt. That's <laughs> that is too, way too, too much. much. What's the biggest size you could get that in three X. Oh, okay. If I could get that in six X, that'd be really funny. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, it would be kind of fun. I don't want to. I don't want to like pay for no, this, no, but it would be kind of funny to. Well, just well, uh, it's it's super easy to make. You just type it out yeah. on a shirt and then print it. Just like, tweet about it. And I then think I think a funny prank video to do at Power Morphicon would be to buy one of these shirts and get in close with us and you like thank you, you, you whatever, yeah. and then like on hidden camera like hey, when's the Hitler shirt coming out? <laughs> and see if he w- and see if like <laughs> behind closed doors he will go like it's coming soon, but like he's never out. He can't release that. No. Anyway. Anyway, all right. So that's uh, wiseleaderwear.com. And that's all we're going to be saying about that. I don't. <laughs> um, there are a lot of Gandhi shirts. Oh, there is. Oh, what was the Anne Frank one? In the long run, the sharpest weapon of all is a kind and gentle spirit. Okay. There you have it. Yeah. Good quote. Thanks for that. Um, okay. <laughs> Someone said, dude, the feet, the feet, the feet, the, right? the, feet, the feet. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I love that. I love that. <laughs> Anyway, all right, everybody. Uh, so, yeah, as we said, we are waiting for the farewell tour Blu-ray yeah. to come out. You know what? While we're here, let's just hit him with the trailer. Okay. Yeah. And here we go. Right, everybody uh that's what's happening tonight we've been we've been so excited to release this tour blu-ray johnny worked hard on it yes. i worked so hard on i worked shit. i worked on it um and you know what um actually in authoring the disc and putting it together derek joined me. no <laughs> I'm, I'm typically the only one that authors the the blu-ray like yeah, in yeah. terms of like putting the menus together yeah, putting yeah. whatever it's just a boring boring job 
Uh, Derek actually sat with me every step of the way this time because he was just like, no, I'm going to learn how to do this too. We can like do more stuff like this. Yeah. Make some really bizarre physical media, mm -hmm. you know, in the future. It's like, okay. So he was involved in, in this uh, very thoroughly as well. And um, it was, uh, it turned out great. Turned out awesome. Uh, Johnny shot like every show mm -hmm. and got the pro set up. Yeah. At every show, like we hit, we had like, okay, this camera there on them, the close up cam over there, get the audio from the board from this venue. Well, I mean, some venues uh, couldn't pull that off, but <laughs> <laughs> every now and then you get a venue that was just like, huh? Yeah. Board. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, but, uh, you know, across a lot of great venues, we got all the best recordings and all that stuff. Put it all together for one ultimate live show. And then, uh, and then you got that. And then you also got the the travel log on the Blu-ray, which is like following us around the country while we're on tour, going to all the hot spots. And uh, I haven't seen that at all. La yeah, Same. the landmarks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, just having fun with us. People love to go along with us on adventures like that. That's all on there. Um, and then you've got actually, you know what? I've got it. I'm going to read it right now. I've got the full content Hell list yeah. of the Blu-ray right here. I'll debut it for the first time on the stream right now. Actually, I do need to tweet that we're going to be live, though. Oh. So um, talk about something else real quick that um, that I won't care about. I do, okay. do want to say real quick, uh, shout out to Bar X Music. They're in the chat right now uh, for doing the music for that trailer. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. They came out to PAX, and I, I forgot to say that during the panel, but I, I just want to say shouts out. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. I don't know why I'm pointing like this. <laughs> I'm just keep pointing at the fucking camera. You. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was it was fun to film all that stuff. It was a little hectic at times because uh, there'd be so many people at the merch line. Yeah, and yeah. I'd want to help you as much as possible. But then there would always be a moment where I'm like, "Fuck, I got to set up a camera." Yeah, that you, that job comes first. You can help later. Oh yeah, always. Thank you. But uh, there are only a couple of stressful moments. Uh, I won't say which venue, but there was one where like I kept trying to fit like ask the sound person like where I'm setting up, and they would just like <laughs> like a light was broken. And they would uh, hit me with the most like "get the fuck out of my face" response, uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I would just get so mad every time. Be like, mm. like you guys saw me, I, I like started packing my camera up. Like, oh, we won't film this show anymore. Yeah, yeah uh, were, but they, it worked they, out. Some, yeah, some venues are, they were a test, but we always made it work. Yep. And uh, did the Chicago Rat make the Blu-ray cut? We don't Dude, know. I don't, I don't know anything about that. That sounds like a Dick Tracy villain. I yeah, think yeah. the Chicago Rat, if you look closely, may be in there. You never know. Yep. You never I, I may know. have included the Chicago Rat. That Chicago rat fuck. Ah, the Chicago <laughs> rat bastard. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, so I'm I'm like I'm tweeting out that we're doing this, so I want to get the people in here, but before you know I post too much. Actually, I'm, oh there it is. Okay, there's a perfect image. Uh, talk about like one more thing until I'm uh, okay. I don't know what else to talk about. Uh you see any good movies recently, Kevin? Or no, uh, bad movies. Bad movies? Yeah. What's a movie you didn't like recently? I haven't seen very many movies. I've rewatched movies recently. Like uh, in theaters, I've only seen movies that I've already seen. Okay. Other than Dune 2. We we talked about a movie, which might, it might be funny to uh, Rocco could Did chime in afterwards. But uh, you saw the, the, the Visit, right? Yes. I did see The Visit. With the Shyamalan thing? Yeah. Shyamalan thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was kind of whatever about it. Yes, Kevin. Uh, I feel it, crazy. It had its moments, but I hated the kids. They the sucked. The whole time. Uh, I saw that for the first time like two years ago. Yeah. I thought it was great. Really? I, I, really I didn't like it. it uh, I, I wanted to kill the kid who rapped. Yes. Rapped three times oh, so annoying. Movie. Oh, that was annoying, but I thought it was a great... Uh, I wanted to turn it off. I thought it was a great <laughs> example. I thought it was really creative. It was creative on no budget, and I thought that yeah, was yeah. kind of inspiring. There were moments I liked, but I, I overall was like, whatever. On it. I, I didn't need to see it again or anything like that. Obviously, because... Uh, twists and everything but yeah um i uh i thought it was it, it was okay me and, and movie is okay me and derek and sean i think all watched it as kind of like oh what's what's like we like to watch movies that are like done on kind of shoestring budget yeah, yeah. yeah. not a huge concept can be doable by anybody and yeah, that yeah. was one that we watched and i thought that was like executed well in yeah. that regard uh, the wrapping that yeah the wrapping thing is annoying but i feel like there's a lot of his movies that have something like that i thought old Having a rapper named uh, Midsize Sedan or whatever oh, that was God. was like, I, yeah, I I'm that. done. Me either. Yeah, no <laughs> thanks. Like, there's stuff like that in that too. 
Um, so, uh, uh, I thought I, I really like Split more because so, those are kind oh, of, of course the two Absolutely. films that yeah, they split came out around the same not time. even comparable. I, yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. saying I liked it at, from like, hey, here's a proof, budget standpoint. proof you could do this yeah. on no money. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I I liked it in that regard, but yeah. Oh, split. That's not even a comparison. That's not, yeah, that's yeah. a real movie as a huge a, fan of found footage and like camera, like home video camera yeah. shot movies. I, I, I was kind of underwhelmed, but that was yeah. about it. I love that style of movie, but I, I don't, I didn't really like the kids being the whole they were so annoying. filming it, filming it and everything like that. That was basically my, my, the crux of it. I like, uh, there's a bunch of other movies that, in that regard that I was like, Oh, I like, I like that a lot more. Dude, Derek and I watched the worst found footage movie. I, well, I shouldn't say this because I don't know if like it's a it's a very indie movie. Yeah. And oh. I, I'm, if a person who made this is watching, I apologize. Uh, you came up with a good concept and it was fun, but like, oh. whatever. Uh, uh, we, <laughs> is this Kickassia? It, it's Kickassia. <laughs> oh uh, no! no. no. Let's start beef. <laughs> uh, no, it was uh, a, mo- a found footage movie about. In, I think it's uh, <laughs> I think in Ohio there's a cryptid called like the, the frog man <laughs> and it's just a giant frog. Yeah. Uh, so, so it was a found footage movie about these people who were like trying to find the frog man and they, then they unearth this like cult and the frog. It's like they they try to go really realistic like it's a fucking actual photorealistic frog man that who has a magic wand. Whoa. It was the worst movie. Ever. Oh, <laughs> it kind of sounds sucks. awesome. I don't know. You you only <laughs> sold me on it. Uh, the Loveland Frogman. Yeah, uh, check it out. Uh, Derek got it on VHS, so there was like oh. an added bonus of that. Hey, speaking of VHS, I do oh, want to yeah. show this. Yeah, yeah. I got. Oh, I got a copy. Of it. <laughs> oh, last last warning, you guys. All right, I'm sorry. Okay, I did want to show uh, that. Yeah, I'll show a sealed one, I guess. Yeah. But uh, we people have uh, been getting emails about this, but yeah, the, these. Uh, they, they're a few days late. We, uh, the plan was always like by late March to ship these out. So we got them within a few days yeah. of that. But uh, the uh, MLK stream, uh, yeah, yeah. MLK week VHS, this it's was here. a rare thing that we secretly stealth yeah. released on uh, MLK I'm, week. I'm starting to ship those out now. And, uh, it's they fucking turned cool. Out really good. We got the. It's really cool. We got the clamshell packaging. Yeah, all, yeah. The, all the label stuff turned out great. It all, oh, I haven't the seen the, thing. the labels. That's sick. Turned out perfect. This is my, I, I don't know if I'm spoiling it for people at home, but the, the label on the side is <laughs> so funny to me. I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, these turned out really, really good. So everybody, uh, if you got one of those, it's on the way. We will be soon. Yes. And if you didn't order one of those, SOL. That's what I'm saying. Don't be that person tonight. Shop.mega64.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. when, when midnight hit, midnight Eastern hits, there's going to be, you got to get on this stuff. Even our... Our bundle, in fact, let me, I'm going to show. Yeah. You know what, guys? Sorry, you're going to see that. No, don't pay attention to that. That image right there. You see that? Yeah. Wait, can, can they hear us? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Can hear us. That bundle. Okay, so the Blu-ray, we got, we, we are, we've already put those orders in. Okay. But we got a, we got a lot of them. So hopefully, you know, if you're quick, you're going to be fine. Mm-hmm. But the bundle, we only have so many because it's stuff that we had during our tour. Like that. That isn't stuff we reprint it. it. Like, that's just what we have left over from our tour. So there is a limit on that. Same with the shirt. There's only so yes. many of those that we have. So if you want any of that stuff, I would definitely get that. Um, speaking of the cover, people are talking about the, they like the alternate cover and stuff like that. That was Kirby. That yeah. was uh, yeah. Donald Kirby who did, uh, was, I mean, they've done a million things for us. The Berserk shirt. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, uh, yeah, the Swordsman shirt, the... Uh, that that jank, that awful uh, awful. Other in the chat, awesome Jenga yeah. shirt. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, the um, uh, what did they do more? Oh no, the fucking the cover of the master collection. Yeah, uh, they did all that stuff. Yep. They uh killed it on this, and so uh, yeah, you can uh, see that for yourself. Uh, that alt cover. By the way, I'm gonna spoil something here, but we liked it enough once we had it all mocked up that. Literally in the room, we were like, "Should that just be the main cover?" So I think when these ship, that might just be that might be the default cover. Yeah, the one and then is. the and then the farewell tour poster, like with all of us on it, might be the alternate. Mm-hmm. So just warning you in case you open your mailbox and you and go, it looks oh? it'll be on the inside. Yeah, one way or another, you're getting both. Yeah. Anyway, um, okay. So why don't I read the full list of what's on the Blu-ray? I'm gonna do it. Decoder do it, ring, thank you for the 58 months. Yeah, yeah. yeah thank Decoder you. Decoder ring for the sub. Okay, Mega 64 Farewell Tour Blu-ray includes the full live show. The full live show. 
shot across the country. Yes. All the all the all the best stuff from across the country. Okay. The farewell tour travel log. That's uh, join Mega sixty four around the country as they hit all the fun landmarks and review every pizza in the country. Now I put an asterisk next to every pizza uh, and put not really. Um, we tried, so we don't hit we them ate all. a lot of pizza. But you will see emergency pizza reviews throughout the travel yeah, yeah. log. So look forward to that. Um. Okay, Mega sixty next feature. Mega 64 live one night only in Tampa. Now, here's what happened. We did a test show in Florida before we did the farewell tour mm -hmm. where we tested out all our new bits, including a bunch that did not ever leave that night. No one has seen them yes. unless you were one of the few people in that room that night. Mm -hmm. Um because some of them just, ah, oh, you know, we could do this better. We, you know, like for example, that show didn't have. I'll just say, like the 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 main show, the the one that we did tour, the farewell tour, yeah. we did do uh, Todd and Aaron live. Like that yeah. was in the show that we toured. That was not in the Florida mm -mm. segment. Like we 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 felt like it needed better segments, so we you know developed the Flushed Todd and Aaron out, bit. Yeah, save some stuff from it and yeah, adjusted it for the new one. Um. There's a bunch of uh, filmed segments for the show that mm -hmm. never made it to other shows. Um, and uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff that was only done that night. Now, we were told there wasn't even a recording of that show because literally now Johnny is always on it. As we just said, sets up all the tech, records the audio, the board, the, the pro cameras shooting the show. All of that failed that oh, night. Yeah. Everything broke. Yeah. It was like the fate didn't want us to do that show. Um, but we found footage from one camera. There is one camera. I, I filmed most of the show yes. from inside. Uh, this this uh, venue also doubled as a nightclub. Yeah. And yes. they had... Uh, the, the best way I could describe it is stripper pods. Yeah, it's like a crow's nest for dancers. Yeah, so uh, I filmed all of the show from in one of those. <laughs> yeah. Yes, so that's what that is, and it's the full show. So you're getting a second live show on this Blu-ray, aside from the, the main feature. Yeah. Uh, and again, it's full of film, uh, uh, stage stuff and film stuff that never went anywhere. Um, that's where, th you know, there were clips in the trailer of Gerard the completionist mm -hmm. like that. He did a bunch of bits filmed for bits for that yeah, yeah. show yeah. that never got, never got seen again. And then there's other stuff that we filmed for it that never got used. Mm -hmm. Um, there's all kinds of stuff. So anyway, that's, that's in there. Uh, there, there are other you, YouTuber people that made an appearance too, but I think some of those are in the main show. So you'll <laughs> see when you watch the Blu-ray, you'll yeah, get it. Yeah. But anyway, that whole feature is on there. Madden rap. 24 oh yeah music video yeah there's a new madden rap on this thing guys mm -hmm. that's on the blu-ray uh that's in the live show but then there's a there was a music video made for it that it plays during the live show because it's a multimedia experience so this feature is just the vi just that music video and then uh meg m64t promotional video i'm not going to say what that is that's just <laughs> that's on there yeah and then I put more dot, 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 question mark, because there could be more. There you go. That's what's on the blue. That's right. a jam-packed disc. Yes. And reversible cover. Yes. And if you get the bundle, so that's the Blu-ray. If you get the bundle, then you all, oh, duh. Commentary. Yeah, duh. Platinum Sarge. Thank you. That's not on here for some reason. <laughs> audio commentary. Thank you. That, that, yes. that, yes, we did audio commentary on the show. Mm-hmm. From the Mega 64 crew. Okay, yeah. Why was that not on there? I, who who <laughs> fucked that up? I don't know it what was happened me. there. Oh, okay. I, 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 I I'll take the blame. blame on that one. Okay, thanks. Anyway, uh, yeah, there you go. Um, so, uh, yeah. The, anyway, so pick that up tonight. Um, Shop.mega64.com in, in about an hour and 15 minutes. That's all going live. Yeah. So there you go. Um, okay. Well, I clearly need to fix some of these listings because they don't they have it, doesn't say the commentary on there, so I'm gonna get that in there. But uh, in the meantime, um, what do you think? Should we should we take a call? 
There, oh, we can do that. There is stuff I do want to talk about in a minute, yeah, but I, I need a minute to kind of get this together. Sure. Unless you want to do it. No, no, no. You're, you're, I, I, you know what? I trust you. Uh, I did the the name a hundred women challenge on stream the other day, yeah. and what? I need y'all to do that at some point. Name a uh, hundred women. Yeah, there I was. I don't know if I can name three. There was a thing, uh, uh, a thing going around where it's like for Women's Month, Women's History Month. Oh, to name a hundred women. No help from the chat. I crushed it. So nice. <laughs> um, everyone, if you want to hop into the Discord, I don't have a really keyboard, so if anyone wants to, mods can put it in. Put the the link. Let's see. Uh, I spelled every person's name wrong to the point where everyone was really. <laughs> oh my gosh. They were seriously? roasting me. The way I wrote F Frida Carlo will make your head spin. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. No one is in the Discord chat yet. These glasses suck. I'm going to take them off. Yeah, glasses that aren't yours in any way, shape, or form suck. Even if they don't have a prescription in this costume, I hate it. Yeah, that's how I that's how I wrote it. <laughs> uh, all right, you guys are just writing women. Uh, if you want to hop in the uh, Discord, we'll yeah. take a call. Guys, we, we you know enough. Dude, Elvira is a good one. I I can't believe I missed Elvira. You didn't list did, Elvira. That would have been my number Elvira. one. <laughs> I did get Anne Frank. Nice. Um. Okay. Well. I don't okay, you use well, we just nice. spray, we sprang Discord on them, so yeah. we need a minute. Uh we got Artie Physio. Artie Buco. Artie Buco. I guess we'll talk to them. Hello? Hey guys. I can't hear shit. I may have to raise the volume. Oh uh, over Discord? Or something. I can't can't see. Hello? Hey guys. Oh. You can you yell? You're really quiet. You want me to yell? Yo. How about now? Yeah, I can hear him. <laughs> we just got to be careful loud, if we fine. do any uh, any other thing on the computer. <laughs> It'll blast it out. Uh, really What's up, Artie? The DVD? You're going PP? Really? What did he say? It did sound like he said <laughs> he's going PP. He's playing PT. Oh. Is it an output volume to the top? Can you get held this? Just, I'd like it better if you yelled. Okay. Uh, oh, no. Oh, way better. Whoa, quiet yeah. down there. Oh, sorry. No, that's okay. This. Just yelling, you know. Anyway. Uh, all right. Yeah, what's up? Do you have a comment or question? Okay, guys. Uh, I just want to know, what's with all the Xbox hate? All right, hang on. Okay. Uh, sorry, this is going to, this is going to be awkward for a second here. There you go. <sighs> okay. <laughs> what, what What's happening? I don't know. <laughs> they can't say. <laughs> oh yeah. Anytime somebody tries to talk about Jessica Negri in the chat, they can't do it. Yeah. All right. Who else do you want to talk to? Andre the Kaiju? Uh, yes, sir. Brad. Okay. Brad. Brad. Hey, uh, what's going on? Hey. Hey, how's it going? I just got to say, Johnny, you're looking dapper. Oh, thank you. I uh, appreciate that. I think the next question that I'd have is, when are you guys coming back on tour? We got to see you up here more often in the East Coast. That's a good question. Yeah. Um, we did not have any plans to tour this year. I feel like... Last year, we were either fixing things that weren't working, like, like you know, we were trying to put out a Blu-ray and it didn't, it took forever and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. There were a lot of like things behind the scenes that were broken that needed to be fixed. We were either doing that or touring. Mm -hmm. So this year, we're doing, I think, much better job of like, no, we're actually staying here. That stuff is all fixed. We're getting them out and we're making new videos and we're doing all this other stuff. So our plan was to do all that and then, um, you know, we weren't really picturing touring but that being said we've actually had a couple offers for to to play live in a couple places that are like hey would you consider doing this and it was like oh that could be kind of cool yeah so i i don't think you'll see a tour this year but you might see a couple one-off shows 
Mm-hmm. And I think one of them was the East Coast. So maybe stay tuned. I'm not sure. but I don't even know about this. Yeah, you don't. You, but I'll tell you. Okay. <laughs> not, not now. But Okay. But there were a couple That's of events. That's good to hear. And uh, if yeah. you can, uh, come by Connecticut sometime. Connecticut. Ooh, I'll tell you right now. That's not. I need that, I need that <laughs> pizza. Need, yeah, I, I know. Need I a Hartford want... show. I can't keep coming to Boston. I do want that pizza. You guys have that. What is it? New Haven. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. New Haven uh, has uh, Frank Pepe's. Yeah, I need to go to Frank Pepe's. I need to get that clam slice. Oh, clam slice. Oh yeah. Is there yeah. clams on it? Yeah, dude. Shit. That sounds good. I did. Hear All right. Good things. Well, uh, I'll just leave you with uh, something that I would like to see from you guys: is the return of con exclusive. Uh, physical media. Yeah, we did do con exclusive Blu-rays for a long time, mm-hmm. but it felt but it felt like it took a lot of our resources to get that done, and it took it away from other things that were like, oh, we we haven't you know put out a new video or put out a new this or that yeah, yeah, yeah. because we were working on that. But but I know people who went to the cons really appreciated it. So yes. it's not like it was for nothing or anything, but it, it's kind of hard to find that balance sometimes. We did that to like and what 2005 to 2015 or something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Um, it, I think it can be I think the latest, uh, the like most recent con Blu-ray I have is from 2017 or 2018. Oh, okay. Yeah, that might have been the last time we did it. Con USB right, well, could be kind of fun. You could make it look like illegal. Yeah. Like do like don't don't ask us about that. Yeah, and also USB put this drive. in your computer. Yeah. Just <laughs> don't put this in your computer. You virus.exe should, you should like mount it into a wall you like you know whenever you see those like yeah. random oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Ports. that can be fun all right well thank you guys for taking my questions and well, have a good yeah rest thank of your you day. thanks thank for you. letting us know yeah all right we, we hope care. to see you on a live show sometime you will in boston cool bye bye all right any more calls or what are you thinking um here for a second turtle verse yep. thanks for your sub who else just sub uh oops. thanks thank you turtle verse <laughs> name them <laughs> where are they thank you pojo jo 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 thank you any thoughts on the gamer dad video i'm sure we'll talk about it more on the podcast yeah, yeah, yeah. that was another fun one that was to do i didn't know when what how that was going to go we filmed it and it was just kind of like okay this is kind of random but mm-hmm. all right let's do it um, and then uh, and then I watched it edited and I was like I'm laughing I feel <laughs> okay I feel good great so what are you gonna say oh I want to say shouts out to Vinny Vine Sauce for playing Doug Huggum yeah that's, that's crazy. cool that was cool I'm sure we'll talk about all that stuff yeah um this weekend where uh, yeah we put, this week was crazy we put out a game um shout out to brandon out there who helped put that game together or, or not help like as if he helped me make it <laughs> yeah he yeah, did yeah. it all um um that was his friends and uh uh yeah so doug huggum came out uh we had a new video come out on wednesday we got a new blu-ray coming out tonight it was an awesome week and we're just getting started because again i mentioned we got other stuff in the works the boysenberry festival video is around the corner that's Mm -hmm. coming out um we got all kinds of stuff on the way so stay tuned there's a lot happening here in mega 64 i do want to say just uh shouts out again to brandon because i think it's just really funny the way that all worked so out because like it was uh during a 420 stream i, I had to find itch.io games yeah. and then i i stumbled upon kingdom hanks yeah <laughs> yeah yeah like that, that led, it, led us to was them. just a, a happy accident and now he's yep. uh making games for y'all yeah. i think that's yeah. such a great story it, it totally mm-hmm. rules yeah um uh let's see so is this a draft okay sorry i want to make sure the store was done good, all good it looked bad for a second there but we're good um Somebody in the chat, Poke Bowl Need says, update on Master Collection shipping. Uh, what I think is going to happen, here's what I think is going to happen. Uh, that one obviously has taken much longer to, to make because it's so there's so much to it. A bunch of discs. It's a bunch of discs in a fancier package. Um, and full disclosure, too, it was delayed at one point because I found more stuff to put on it. Yeah. So that was good. Uh, they were printing it. I did find one thing wrong with it. Uh, that I fixed. Um, didn't cause a huge delay, but I, I'm just, you know, full full disclosure. Yeah. There was, like, a button that wasn't working on a Blu-ray. It wasn't, like, ruining it. Like, you could have, like, okay, we'll just do this instead. But it w- sucked. So yeah. I fixed that. Um, but what I'm hoping for is that that ships at the end of this month. But what, I'm, what I think will happen is 
the the tour Blu-ray has already been in the pipeline. I think it's done. So I think both of these, are pr it's probably going to be Black Friday all over again, where you might get these kind of at the same time. <laughs> Which is great for you guys. Yeah. Hard for me. Sucks but for you. I'll, I'm willing to do it. Yeah. So uh, so stay tuned on that. But yeah, we're hoping for both of those at the end of, at the end of April, hopefully. Um, yeah. Cool. Um, okay. So I've got the, uh, things in the store here. Okay. So a couple things happened while we were, while we were driving on the way to, um, we were driving on the way to the Boysenberry festival. Yeah. Yesterday. Some big, big things happen in the news. Uh, oh, yeah. while I was in the car, I got out of the car and my, the notifications on my phone, it was like, I thought somebody had died and turns out in the one hour I was in the car. They showed concept artwork for an Avatar Land in um, in Dis Disneyland in California, yeah. and they announced Matrix Five. So I want to address both. Yeah. Uh, we haven't talked about it honestly, like me and no. Johnny. So yeah, we already covered it. Yeah, so we covered it. Kind of, so okay, it's, we're, we're kind of. Like, I think we're all good. No, okay. If you, if there's uh, anything you can here. add that we didn't go uh, go for. All right, fine. I'll try my. I'm best. gonna get a drink while you do this. Okay. <laughs> So the Avatar land, uh, that that artwork, they posted as like, oh, this is potential um, concept uh, artwork about uh, ideas we might have with uh, potential concepts for Avatar land. It's like, are, are yeah. you doing this or not? No, they never want to announce anything. No, always, it was always, like. This is, this is D23 all over again. They're yeah. like, this is something that we could do. Would yeah. you be excited if this is possibility maybe it, uh, something might happen at some point in the future at, at some juncture? It's like, shut up. Yeah, just, just like announce it or don't. Yeah, I don't yeah. care. So anyway, that's my feeling on the Avatar thing. If that comes in, cool, but yeah. I, where I don't know what you're planning, so I don't get it. Yeah. Johnny, that I swear, you, I just saw you walk out that door and then you walked in this one. <laughs> he did a loop. He did a drink loop. But anyway, uh, so there's that. As for Matrix 5, listen, if they were announcing Matrix 4 and they announced, oh, by the way, it's not written or directed by the Wachowskis, I would have been like, no, nope, 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 don't yep. want it. However, the Matrix 4 did come out, mm -hmm. Resurrections did come out, and I felt like that movie was the final statement of the Wachowskis. Like, done. I felt like they came out and said their piece on here's our feelings on the Matrix. All these years later, here's how it affected us. Here's where we are now. Here's how we've changed as artists. And you know what? At the end of the day, we're proud of who we are. Thank you. Good night. I felt like the way that ended was a mic drop. Mm. Some people say it's a protest. I don't, I don't, I don't feel that way about resurrections. I see it in the beginning as a protest. Like, oh, well, the company says you got to do this because it made a lot of money. Yeah. But I see the second half of the movie as coming to terms with who you are and the part of yourself that can't be contained as an artist. And like, hey, at the end of the day, I'm going to do my thing. Join me or not. You're going to keep being your corporation, but I'm going to paint the sky with rainbows and you can either like be part of that or not. I don't give a shit because I'm an artist and you're the numbers guy. Bye. And they fly away. I didn't feel like that was a protest as much as it was just like, here's my statement on my creativity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It felt more meta than like a protest for sure. Y that's how I feel. Yeah. It's more just like. The, yeah, the you know, it's, I, I don't know. I, I, I didn't take it as, as a negative statement, really, yeah. as much as it was like taking a negative and making it a positive. That's what I took it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you know, the movie could have been has a moment the 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 Matrix Resurrections has a moment to become the schlocky blockbuster Marvel movie. I feel like it's right when Trinity learns how to fly. Like mm -hmm. now, now, now the female agency in the story is in control, and they're in front of that. Remember that helicopter flies in, and it's like about to shoot them. They're they're like floating in the midair, and the helicopter is about to shoot them. Yeah. And what does Trinity do? Nah, bye, and flies away. <laughs> they they skip the final fight scene. There is supposed to be a. I mean, they set up for it and they go nah. Yeah. Literally, I think she says nah, and then they fly away. And then she says all that at the end to the to the guy running the Matrix. I'm gonna do my thing and I don't give a shit. Okay. To me, that was more a story of liberation than it was. Uh, I'm I'm protesting there being a new Matrix. It's more just like I'm doing my thing, so whatever. Um. Now that being said, Matrix Five. Uh, so they they made their statement, in my opinion, and then uh, Matrix Five apparently drew, this Drew Goddard guy or whatever whoever 
mm-hmm. whatever their name is, apparently came to them and said, I've got a really good idea, I think, to to do another Matrix story. To continue the story. If you're yeah. cool with it. And they said, yeah. And, and the Wachowskis are, produ- are executive producing. So half of me is like, I don't need any further Matrix. If the, you know, Wachowskis aren't writing and directing it, I don't need that. Yeah. That's half of me. But the other half of me is like, well, if they, as long as they're overseeing it and they know what's in it, mm-hmm. I th- I feel like their statement on it is done. Yeah. So I would rather hear this and and let and them make another one under their supervision than just like, oh, some random people are going to make it and Warner Brothers is paying for it. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I'm I'm fine with it personally. I don't uh, and it, if it rules or it sucks, doesn't um it doesn't matter. Know, affect d- my what's life. done is done already. Yeah. So that's kind of how I do whatever. Feel. I've never been the kind of guy like you always hear about like, oh, the sequels ruined the other. Movie. Yeah. Like, yeah. I've never understood that. Yeah, I, I've never I, been that. I was like, that no, 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 that that's the thing that exists, and yeah. nothing can mess that up. Even if they make a thousand yeah. sequels, it suck. It, yeah, it's still the could make they can make a yeah. hundred bad matrices, and the first one still rules. Yeah, but, exactly. But uh, but um, just in general, though, it does hurt though when you see something go along yeah, without yeah. the the people who made it exactly. what it was. So this, you know, there's part of me that I'm feeling that, but. But the other part of me is again like they apparently they were presented the story and they went cool go do it okay great yeah. so to me to me this is the same as the the fucker making uh, Indiana Jones five yeah, yeah Spielberg mm-hmm. still like said like gave his thumbs up he still you know whatever yeah was that movie that great ah I could go either way mm-hmm. but it doesn't like ruin it either yeah know? that's how I feel you guys just reminded me that while, while excuse me while we were at PAX they announced a new alien movie they did and i don't yeah. think anyone oh someone in the chat Lou just brought it up uh yeah i don't think anyone cares I, i'm just I not care. hearing anything about it no. uh it's by i the, thought it was a series first of all yeah. but i guess it's a movie now i don't know it, it's uh the director who did the first evil dead reboot which i enjoyed so i'm kind of here for that but uh that script was punched up a lot by diablo cody so i don't know if this person is a what, good what was writer. the movie again i'm sorry evil dead the oh, re- the, the remake. remake. The 2016 remake? Yeah. Oh, oh, that Evil yeah. Dead. Not Evil which Dead. I like. Not the one with the mother. Or no, 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 okay, no, no, okay, no, no, no. Okay. okay. Uh, Jimmy, thanks for your sub. Which I liked. I liked that Evil Dead uh, remake or reboot. I don't fucking know. Yeah. Uh, but this alien movie, when I, I Googled it a bunch when I was uh, sitting around, uh, and uh, it takes place between alien and aliens. Mm. So. Uh, um, hopefully it's good. Okay. Yeah, hopefully. I I don't know. It's very weird. It's so funny to me thinking back to the Alien franchise. Like, Prometheus, n- by no means a perfect film. Oh, n- no, I'm not going to make that argument. But it, but at the same time, like, it was it was a clunky made movie, but I like Prometheus. had really cool elements in mm-hmm. it and couldn't have stoked my interest in the mythology more. Yeah, <laughs> like like say whatever you want about the characters. Oh, this character's stupid. This character's stupid. Sure, but my interest in it as a mythology had never been more piqued. Maybe that was Damon Lindelof's uh, influence. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but it worked. That aspect of it worked. Yeah, and then I feel like Alien Covenant couldn't have removed that more. And and it's funny because that movie. And that's Ridley Scott. Was like it's well, they both were Ridley Scott. Yeah. They were both directed by Ridley Scott. But it was like it really uh, it wasn't even like poorly executed. Maybe maybe at the end it kind of was, but it it didn't match the mythology of the first one at all. So to me, it just gave this aura of like, oh, we don't kind of know what we're doing. Like, like, oh, this mythology that it felt like was being carefully built in that first one. Yeah. It, it felt like, uh, nah, we just mm, y- we're know, doing different stuff now. Oh, OK. I, I don't think you're going to agree with me with, on this, mm-hmm. but. Alien Covenant to me feels very similar to that last Star Wars movie where it's like now nah, undo all this and just go back to I, no I I totally you agree yeah. okay cool because uh, totally Covenant because Covenant kind of just throws all the Prometheus shit to the, yeah. the side and then goes like now nah, put him on a ship and there's an alien and yeah. you're like oh, we've done this it a was times. It, it really felt like do whatever you can to get us back to Alien mm-hmm. okay and yeah and it just felt like it really had this energy of well prometheus wasn't cool so we can't do that Mm -hmm. and it's like oh i I thought you could i I wish you would just build on that and do something great but um covenant you're right uh highland did have some good david stuff david was the you know the android character Mm -hmm. in in prometheus um the stuff with him i still really liked but then it, it went 
it just went too far where it's like, oh, but the oh, you made the alien. And and then it be, just became alien slasher. The alien's coming. It's like, ah, man, yeah. I was yeah, like, yeah. I was enjoying the mystery of this a little bit more. Vertigo, thanks for your sub. He has that great line where he's like, hold it and I'll do the fingering. Yeah. I always like that line. That was good. That's a good line. Um, Yeah, I don't know. It just, uh, when, it end, when it ended, I remember walking out of the theater with Sean and we were just like, damn, I think that's it for me. I saw it in 4DX, so I didn't hate it as much. Just because oh, yeah. when the movie got bad, it was still fun to be like, oh, yeah. Well, you're it's funny. Around. Yeah, need, it's funny because I don't think either of us hated the movie. Yeah. It, but it just killed my interest in more alien. It just, when it ended, I'm like, yeah, that there's, I'm not wondering about anything in that universe anymore. I'm like, I, I won't not thinking about it anymore. say much. I don't know if Kevin, you ever want to see it, but there is just, I know, there's a moment where it's just a big, like, fuck you uh, to if you liked Prometheus. Like, really? There's a big, like, like middle finger to you. Yeah, I'm. I th there's a couple things that could fit, <laughs> so I'm not yeah. sure. Okay. But uh, yeah, there's definitely one scene where I was like, "Oh, oh, fuck me for liking that movie." I guess. Yeah. <laughs> is it? Is it? What's her name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're on the same page. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that really, that really did feel like. I guess we're done. Yeah, exactly. It's like, uh, yeah. well, all right, cool, thank and, you. And what's funny if you look, if you go back and read the plans yeah. for Prometheus, it was yeah, this one does connect to Alien. This is what Damon Lindelof said was <clears throat> he said the plan. This is like this is connected to Alien. Mm -hmm. But now with the second one, we can follow them to they're going to find they're going to go explore the engineers. Like, where did they come from? And um, we're going to leave Alien. Like we're going to we're we're going to go deeper down the mystery hole and see wh how weird it goes as opposed to just more Alien. Yeah. And then, yeah, that totally, they did not stick no. to that at all. It just went, never mind, Damon's out, and we're going to do our own thing. And it was like, oh, okay. Uh, now, what's funny, though, I will say is the original script for Prometheus was written by John Spates, I think is his name. Okay. And he was not happy that Damon Lindelof rewrote that script. They, they brought Damon Lindelof to rewrite it. And he you even in the behind-the-scenes documentary on the Blu-ray, John Spates is like, they uh, apparently weren't happy with uh, my version. And... Uh, <laughs> I guess they rewrote it. You know, he doesn't seem stoked. Yeah. And what's funny is John Spates just wrote a movie recently, and that movie was Dune Part 2. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> it's like, well, guess who won in the end? Because Damon, uh, you have John Spates writing one of the biggest movies of the year, and Damon Lindelof going, yeah, I don't think I can write movies. <laughs> By his own admission, yeah, yeah, has yeah. said, I think I should stick to TV. Yeah. So, uh, uh, what a bummer. The Alien franchise is so strange to me because I... I feel like you can make good movies with the concept and just even just the xenomorph as a character. Yeah. And I feel like you just have so many people have their own concept of what alien should be. Mm -hmm. Um, Cause I think post aliens, uh, there's not a good movie. Yeah, 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 I yeah. mean like Prometheus I enjoy, but like when I but, say it's a good it's alien weird. movie, yeah, but I, I almost don't even think of it in the same way as those. Even Fincher couldn't do it. Like, I don't know. Yeah, and yeah. I like that movie. Even yeah. Though yeah. Bad. It, it's bad, but I like that movie. Um, uh, but yeah, like Prometheus, it's like, I don't, I still don't lump it with those other yeah, ones. Exactly. But, but I, as a, as a nerd for alien, yeah. I, I really enjoy mm -hmm. it. Totally. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, but people are saying beef and bun trip after the guys. Hold on. I Look, hit the brakes. Yeah. Er, we, we, did we will before nine. We will. Fuck. <laughs> no, I'm going to say God. that. <laughs> I, no. I, I couldn't <laughs> eat if I wanted to. Not even another cookie. No. Yo, we got the I, double chunk chocolate I cookie. I okay, everybody. What we did right before this stream, I think I, I was telling them, I think uh, doing knots yesterday uh, affected my uh, internal gut biome. Yeah. Because I woke up starving, like, where's more boysenberry food? Where is it? I need more boysenberry food. So uh, we didn't do that. But right before the stream, we went to In-N-Out Burger, and I was just like, I'll, I'm going to eat everything they have. I'm so, I am so hungry. And uh, so we did that. And then someone had the wise idea during the dinner to go, <sighs> it was you, uh, to say, damn, I, I still, uh, I've seen that... Uh, Costco, uh, cook, the big chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, they I've have never a, had one. In the Costco food court. Damn, I still never had one of those. And I literally groaned out loud and got the keys to the car like, and drove us on. to Costco. <laughs> and let's we go. all got those big cookies. Yep. And I was like, let's just get like one or two and split them. <laughs> nope. <laughs> and I think I just, yeah, like, three. in the distance, I went, no! <laughs> yeah, I, I heard, no! All right, three. But anyway, did it live up to, what's the review on the cookie? Uh, it's really good. 
I, uh, I'm it, surprised. It was that, a hot cookie, dude. I love like, those cookies. I do too. I'm surprised that fucking big, like, Jack dude in the Costco guys video, like, eats one every time because I, I feel like <laughs> I would be a million pounds if I ate one every time I went to Costco. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! I am now a Costco guy. I get I, I need to get a card now. I need you to do. do it. I, in my head, like I, it's always been like, ah, oh, it's too expensive for me. But I feel like it just makes sense. I feel like I got to become a Costco. Yeah, guy. Just get a cookie every week, and it's yeah. yeah there you go. Totally cool. worth it. Yeah. Anyway, I am full. I'm super full. I'm not. Going but to I could bun. do beef and bun. Tell you what, we'll do beef and bun. If I did beef and bun, all I would get was ice cream. If we sell out of the Blu-ray, we'll get the we'll get <laughs> beef and bun. We'll di- that's how we'll die. And I don't think yeah. that's a bad way to go. By the time it sells out, we'll be hungry again. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Yeah, we are fifty. Oh, so full. We are fifty minutes away from the farewell tour release. I think. Uh, oh, what, were you gonna say something? Oh no. I was showing the trailer one more time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Guys, get ready. <laughs> yeah. We should get ready because it's gonna blast. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's it. okay. Let it, it let her Do rip. It. Go for it. Guys, this is gonna sound crazy. You're gonna probably have to click it on to Oh no, hold on. That's what's going up later. The bundle, the shirt, the Blu-ray, and stuff we haven't even advertised. There's gonna be secret stuff on the store yeah. coming tonight. So be on the ready at midnight, because you may miss your chance if you're not careful. Hit them with the trailer. All right. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Hope you like that trailer. Are you excited for the farewell tour coming to Blu-ray? Um, I'm checking. You know, we got multiple chats open right now, so yeah. I'm checking everything. Someone on someone. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say, but uh, they said they liked your podcast. You did. Oh, thank you. Shouts out. Personally, I disagree, but that's cool that some guys go. No, I'll, I'll, I won't promote that. <laughs> You go, well, no, go do for it. it. Uh, I made my own podcast just for fun. Uh, it's like a therapeutic thing I'm doing. Uh, it's called Johnny Cast. You can check it out on my personal YouTube channel. I don't know the URL, but it's on Spotify. I figured out how to do that. Oh, okay. that's cool. Uh, I can't get it on Apple Music because the service I use for the RSS feed uh, apparently just doesn't like the the image that you choose. Apple's mm. like has to be the size. And the, the 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 hosting server is like, no, ours are smaller. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. And I found all these Reddit threads where people are like, I don't know. I paid money to host this. And <laughs> That's weird. Anyway, yeah. Johnny Cass, go check it out. Thank cool. you. Cool. Uh, by the way, uh, we obviously want, while we're doing plugs here, uh, tonight we want everyone to, uh, obviously the farewell tour is the main thing tonight, but uh, we did release a game, like we said earlier. Doug mm-hmm. Huggum is yeah. up on mega64.com slash Doug Huggum. You can play the game for free. Yep. But we also want to let everyone know if you wanna if you wanna support the the game and you like what you saw, pick up a we got official Doug Huggum shirt. It's being printed on a different type of garment too. It's on it's on a comfort color nice. shirt. So really kind of streetwear kind of shirt. I really like that. There's a sticker sheet on there. And uh, you can pick both of those up. Uh, all the Doug Huggum merch is at shop.mega64.com. Cool. But it's all linked to if you go to mega64.com slash Doug Huggum. All of that is there. So I just want to plug that as well in case you haven't seen that yet. Um, anyway, uh, I'm getting everything ready. I'm, I'm getting all the uh, pages ready for uh, the release tonight, you know. Um, we got a couple of people in Discord. If yeah, you let's, take take a go, let's take another call. Uh, yeah. do you want to do Rec Two or do you want to do Neo Serenity? Rec Two, Rec Two okay. might be scary. Yeah, have you guys actually s- ever seen Rec Two? Yeah, I've seen them all. Rec Two is no, sick. They made a bunch, but yeah, Rec Two is good. I forgot about those movies. Hello? Oh, damn! I wasn't expecting. Oh, Thanks. they make it too low again. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Sorry, Rec Two. It's fine. Hey, what's up, boys? 
How's it going? Going fucking great. Hell yeah. Okay, let's yeah. keep it clean, boss. <laughs> Got kids My here. Bad, guys. Right. Clean guys of comedy. We are the clean guys of comedy, guys. <laughs> anyway, did you have a comment or a question? Yeah, yeah. No, no, not really. Uh, oh. I guess comment and a question then. <laughs> Equipment? But, uh, yeah, just congrats on the tour thing, guys. Uh, Thank you. Thanks. Looks awesome. You might have to get just for like uh, the behind the scenes drawer and everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everything else, look, it's awesome, though. Well, you said congrats on the tour, so that is a comment. Yeah. yeah. So, you, so you lied. Yep. Wow. But you know what? I respect that. Yeah, thanks, guys. You did what you had uh, to do. You did what you had to do to make the call good, and I, I respect yeah, that. Yeah, we respect liars here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but then I guess I have a question over here. Uh, yeah. Just sorry, getting back into the Wii U last yeah. year. The stuff closing down and everything. Yeah. I was wondering what uh, your guys' favorite Wii U game is. Probably Mario Kart uh, 8. But they, they made that in yeah. the Switch. And it I feel made, like it that got perfected better. on Switch. It got perfected on Switch. But Mario yeah. Kart 8 is my favorite Wii U game. Uh, Wind Waker HD. That was a good one. Oh, yeah. Uh, I never had a Wii U, by the way. Devil's oh. Third. <laughs> Gotta go Devil's Third. Well, I don't know. I feel bad picking ones that made it to other stuff yeah, later. Yeah, yeah. Ones unique you know? to that system. I'm sure some... Uh, Twilight Pe Princess HD. <laughs> yeah, Pizza <laughs> the Hut. Thanks for your sub. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, you could say Breath of the Wild, but I, I didn't yeah. play it on there. God, you, people played that on Wii U. Yeah, that is, isn't Garrett. that crazy to think about? Yeah. I, I remember him getting that on Wii U, and it was like, bro, if they ever, like add more to this game you're going to be stuck on the wii u for years yeah no 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 and the it's wii u was at, at that point was at the end of its life yeah it was like just get it on the new system anybody you know? i know who got it on the wii u never beat it no and never, never, no. never played it on switch yeah and and it's just like okay it's crazy that it came to wii u that really blows my mind yep i kind of want to play it on that oh uh, yeah i'm one of the guys who one of the only people who i know who played it on wii u yeah man that's amazing uh but anyway uh wii u games though i mean i didn't get a ton of wii u games yeah um yeah really mario kart was one of the highlights uh wonderful 101 i really liked as, yeah. a, as a highlight on there and if all these came to switch yeah all these came to switch so mm -hmm. i don't know the wii all u the really good the wii u to, to me switch. was like a brief uh, yeah, yeah, pause yeah. on the way to the switch yep so oh, i don't yeah. know it feels like it, yeah yeah yeah, so I I don't know. That's I'm gonna stick with the uh, Devil's Third, Wind Waker HD. <laughs> I'm still so fucking mad that is nowhere. Like, yeah, why, why yeah. Do we both, not have both that? those HD yeah. releases need to come out for Switch. I I truly don't get it. I really don't get it. We got Metroid Prime remake before fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. Princess. Yeah. Right. Princess. Uh, 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 Wind Waker. Yeah. Okay. Well. Thanks for the call. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, no, thanks for asking, answering everything. Thanks, guys. Thank yeah, you. No Have problem. a good one. Take care. Talk to Yusko. Yusko. I Yusko nuts at Christmas on that jolly holiday. Oh my God, I go guys, in the up? red like hey. a knucklehead as I squander all my pay. Yes. What'd you think of that, Yusko? Was that good? I thought it was great. Good, great job. Cool. Yeah, bullshit. <laughs> What'd you, okay, what did you call about? Um, first of all, I just want to say congrats for, for the uh, you know Blu-ray. I love thank the tour. Thank you. Oh, thank I you so much. Stoked. Are you gonna pick it up? And if so, how many copies? Uh, you know, I think I might need ten because you know I gotta give it to like every member of the family because I wouldn't yeah. want them yes. to be like excluded. Thank you. It's like a stocking God. stuffer. Thank I mean, you. I know it's coming out like April, but it's like a stocking. But stuffer. yeah, you might as well get ready. The holidays are yeah, coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ready. know they're coming. Tis the well, yeah, season. Like a Tis the season to shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the tour is great, though. I'm really excited to, you know, kind of relive it, I guess. Because it was Thank such you. a fun night. Oh, did you come and see us live when we when we did the tour? Yeah, I was at the uh, Felicia. Oh, nice, nice, nice. That was. Which one was uh, that? Oh, is that the one at the winery? Yeah, oh, yeah was that winery. was fun. That yeah. was a great show. My mom was there. Oh, that was. Oh, so cool. oh yeah, I think you mentioned it. The winery yeah. one, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a way nicer show than I was ready for. The like venue was yeah. So the venue nice. was like 
two like, nights almost it's like for dinner her. theater. Like yeah, everyone, everyone had, had dinner and dinner wine. And stuff. They made Mega sixty four wine. Yeah, that was that, kind of that was really cool. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, it was a really great night. I, I, anyway, uh, I'm sorry if you guys are sick of talking about this because I know uh, in the last couple of podcasts you brought it up. But I'm just curious, any updated thoughts on a uh, rebirth? I love that game, man. On, I just want you guys to talk about it. On we, Final Fantasy, we were just talking yeah, about we're it talking earlier on yeah. the way to get food. Uh, so I, it's been killing me because I have been at the last chapter. I have like one little. <laughs> left to go that's it like you're you know you got a youtube video and you're at the end and you just have that yeah. little nugget of red at the end of the timeline yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it i haven't had any ability or time or anything to just finish that little last yeah. can't do it tonight because we're doing this mm -hmm. can't do it tomorrow I'm gonna be gone yep uh, i it's it's driving me nuts uh so I just don't, uh, yeah, I mean, I can't give my final review because I haven't beat it. But I will say overall so far, no spoilers. We're not giving any spoilers. Yeah, no spoilers. No. I have enjoyed it more than the last one. Okay. Uh, I do think there's been some kind of stupid stuff in the second half. But I've overall still enjoyed it uh, a lot. As a, okay. This one feels more like a mainline Final Fantasy game to me than the last one. Last one sat in this weird spot. I still enjoyed it, but... Sat in this weird, like, what is this kind of thing? This one felt more like, ah, new Final Fantasy game. Mm -hmm. um, just some kind of dumb dumb padding yeah. along the way. Yeah, I, for me, I oh, just no, feel... I oh. oh, sorry, I mean... Uh, <laughs> no, you're no, fine. No, no, you're, you're, you're totally good. Uh, For me, I just feel like it's been... Uh, I'm, like, about halfway through now, and I just feel like it's been getting very, very repetitive. Uh, I, I think they kind of did enough to make it feel mildly different because we're going to very like new locations but uh i don't know i'm kind of hitting like a wall with it i i think i enjoy it for the most part but uh I, I, i'll i'll go more into detail once i once you finally actually beat it, beat it. Yeah, yeah i i do want to people have been asking i do want to do a video for sure when i'm done because i'm gonna have probably an hour's worth of shit to say about it and I'm not going to subject our podcast to that. I don't. <laughs> I, there's no one I would want to subject that to. Uh, so I'll do it on my own and I'll record a video. I want to do it. I, I, I have so many things I want to record in the next week. I'm going to do I'm going to do a video for that. I'm going to do a, men, a video for Mad Men. I just finished Mad Men. Oh, OK. And I want to talk about that for like an hour. And I finished. Uh, uh, I want I want to talk about I'm actually going to do a video about the Bioshock games soon. Oh that I was supposed to do a million years ago. Mm -hmm. But uh, now that they're talking about Ken Levine's new game, I want to, I want to um, talk Revisit about that. that yeah. yeah. So whenever I have, uh, I, I do want to compliment the game and say like, for the most part, the gameplay is very fun yeah. and it's visually stunning. Yeah. It's awesome. Um, so I will say that. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It, um, and the soundtrack is great. Oh yeah. There's a lot of, there's a lot of great stuff being done. I'm just kind of, I'm just getting pissed that I haven't beat it. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, I'm at the end. Like, let me get here. But yeah. No, I was definitely feeling that towards the end. I was just like, yo, I mean, I loved it, but I wanted to be, you know, done. Anyway, thank yeah. you guys. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, for thank calling you very much. Yeah. Have a good night and good luck with the uh, Blu-ray. Thanks. Thank you. All right. Well, I, I said you too, like he's putting out a Blu-ray. <laughs> he's going to. No offense, but I don't think you are. All right. Uh, Tifa or Aerith? Let's uh, get into the weeds here. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, the classic uh, diatribe. Yeah. Definitely not Yuffie. Fucking Yo, kill Yuffie, we, okay, dude. Okay, we might lose some followers on this, but literally we got in the car, and it's like neither of us wanted to piss off the other person, yeah. but it was like, uh, you, um, how far are you? I'm far. mm, -mm. I don't like Yuffie, right? Yeah. No, me neither. Okay, <laughs> fuck that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Cut this character out. Didn't like her in the original yeah. game. Well, well, that was the don't. DLC, too, right? Like, yeah. it was Yuffie DLC. Yeah, I kept yeah, hearing yeah. That. And, we're, we're, and she was annoying, but the DLC was fun. Okay. It was fine. But um, the problem is that in this game, there's all these serious storylines happening. Mm -hmm. And Okay, so, uh, oh, my God, this happened. Again, we're not going to spoil anything. But yeah. Oh, this is um. There's uh, something happening in this town, and we don't know. Yeah, that's what's exactly where I'm at right because, now. Because uh, a reactor uh, caused this to happen, and uh, well, give me two seconds with them, and I'll show them who's boss. But when I get all the master materia, nobody will be able to stand in my way. Yuffie, the number one warrior. Okay, thanks. 
Anyway, uh, the town, uh, the, yeah, they're right by a reactor, and there might be. I mean, it's seriously like ex- excise her from this conversation, and it would affect nothing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but again, I haven't beat it. Yeah. So maybe, I, yeah. And Slavic Gold uh, called it. Y- you didn't have to see her at all in the, in the original. Exactly. If you really want to. Oh, to return to that. Um, but anyway. Someone's saying misogynist. I'll add to this. F- fuck Vincent too. I don't give a fuck. I just like the core. <laughs> yeah. I like the core group. Yeah, yeah, They're yeah. fantastic. I don't need any of these other fucking yeah, side yeah, characters. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but whatever. I'm still enjoying it. Um, um, but yeah, I do really actually though, going back to Tifa and Aerith, thought they did a great job building their friendship. Yes. That was actually a great change. Uh, apparently the, the director or, or maybe the writer, I don't remember, uh, on the, on the original game, people were like, damn, it's crazy. Tifa and Yuffie, uh, uh, I'm so, no, not Yuffie. <laughs> Tifa and Aerith really don't like each other. That's kind of, that, that was kind of weird. But other than that, I really like the game. And the guy was like, wait, they don't like, he's like, I wrote it and I didn't know that it felt that way. Yeah. yeah. And so apparently that was a big impetus for this in remake to like, Hey, I, I really want to hit that. Like. Like they have great interactions and they build a great friendship and it worked. I thought it cool. was really, really well done. Um, um, you, you saw some of it in the first game, but they really hit that home in this one. And that's great. Uh, all the interactions between party members. I agree. Spice Lord are, are really good. So, yeah, yeah, I think getting more out of red 13, I think has been really enjoyable for me. Mm-hmm. Like uh, even though they kind of do the same bit every time with him, but I kind of just like, uh, I like talking to him. I like doing his side quests. Uh, mm-hmm. But I've been doing a lot of Aerith's uh, side quests, so I think I'm going to, in the gold saucer, going to mm-hmm. go for that. I won't say more. But yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, that's where I'm at. I just want to beat the damn game. Because <laughs> um, then I want to move on to, finally, like a dragon, infinite wealth. I'm finally going to move on to that. Um, I've been dying to play that, but I want to clear my plate first. Yeah, yeah. Because then once that's a long game too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I want to like take my time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what else is coming out this year? I, I really, to I me, to me, like I that's the game for me for the rest of the year. Yeah, yeah. Is uh, is I can't well. think of another one that that I'm like look forward uh, to. Elden Ring now. DLC, guys. Okay. No, I uh, <laughs> haven't played Elden Ring. I kind of feel like Doug Huggum was our Elden Ring. Yeah, it's kind of better version of Elden Ring. <laughs> I've never played a from DLC because they're always so fucking hard. They, they always make the DLC oh, way harder. Man. And the director has already been like, the hardest boss in Elden Ring was uh, Melania. And he's already like, yeah, there's like two bosses that are harder than her. I'm like, I, oh, no. I couldn't even beat her. Like, what, what are we doing? Oh. <laughs> Pay up. Yeah, I never played the Bloodborne DLC. I, I heard Garrett beat that. So that's that's cool. He wow. beat on stream. DLC? I mean, yeah. the, the oh, really? Yeah. Uh, p- bringing up other games. There's Visions of Mana. Yeah, there's a new Mana oh, game this yeah. year. That could be cool. I hope it is. Yeah. Uh, Snake Eater remake. I don't see. I don't know what to think about. That. I don't know either. I don't know. I love Snake Eater, so we'll see what what happens with that. Dude, what's up with Dragon's Dogma Two? I either pe- hear people say like this game is shit, or this is the best game ever. I have heard no in between. <laughs> yeah, chat. What do you think? Anybody yeah. out there playing it? Uh, I I heard that there's a system where there's like a plague that can show up and just kill all the NPCs you need to. Oh, that's kind of <laughs> and, amazing. And that made yeah. me go like, oh do gosh. I want to play this? That's kind of hilarious. Eh. Wow. Like it just soft locks your game. <laughs> Everyone wow. just dies. That's amazing. I never played Dragon's Dogma one though. Um, mm, me neither. Uh, yeah, we do need a new Nintendo Direct. I'm curious. I'm curious when we're gonna hear about that next system. Yeah. See what happens there. Um, It'll be this year sometime for sure. I was I was hearing the the latest rumors were that it might be it's going to be like March next year. Cool. Uh which is still within their fiscal year yeah. or whatever, but um I could see that happening. Mm-hmm. Like they tell us about it this holiday season and then it comes out. Okay. Okay. We'll see. Um did I beat the Avatar game? No. <laughs> I played some of it. I'd love to return to it, but all this other stuff came out. Yeah. Yeah, I want a new Metroid Dread so bad. I, I've been me re- too. Like a Metroid Dread two. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. also, I really wish that Zero Mission was on the Switch. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I too. really want to play that. I've been playing the original Metroid, and I'm like, yeah, would really prefer Zero Mission over this. Yeah. Uh, a Fusion's on there, but Fusion's great. But yeah, I know. You I mean. will say my my heart is always with 2D Metroid. Yep. So I want yes, me too. I want Dread uh, and stuff like that more than anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I did have such a great time with the prime remake on switch 
that I am very excited about Prime 4. Like, like, give me that now. I'm very excited. But if they only did 2D ones forever, I would not complain. Yep. I would be very happy. Mm. I'll do an FF7 remake uh, video or something where I could talk about it. I, I don't want to spoil it here, but I'll spoil it in that video whenever, whenever mm. I'm able to do that. Hopefully this, hopefully this weekend or something. Yeah. Um. Okay. Shoot. You want to talk to? We got got a good amount of callers yeah. now. We'll Let's do, talk we'll, to we'll, um, uh, really bad Brian. Oh, I I wonder how bad. Brian, really, Brian, are you really bad, Brian? Oh, gee. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Good. How's it going, guys? Good. All right. Comment or question? What do you think? I'm excited for the uh, the Blu-ray. Nice. Uh, release nice. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I was at the uh, the Vancouver show. Oh, oh you were. Oh, the Vancouver. That was a cool show. show. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. And then yeah. we had authentic poutine right after. Yeah. Right, went right into McDonald's and said, "Give us the classic I need, poutine." I need authentic poutine because I feel like every poutine I get is some not Canadian poutine. No. It's always some weird offshoot that's no. not that good. Yeah, and it's like I need to get real poutine. Yeah, did you have the did you have that that poutine place that was at Disney Springs? Yeah, that place was okay. I I was blown away. That was a little closer. It to was closer it. to it, but hundred percent. But it's not that different. But I haven't had poutine very often. Yeah, I think I had it once here in San Diego at a place, once at McDonald's, yeah. and uh, we had poutine uh, recently at that yeah. thing, and it sucked. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But uh, yeah, if it's good, it should be like a big sagging box of it, and yeah, yeah just anywhere we go, it's like not. Um, um, Brian, did you see the Devils uh, Rangers game yesterday? Uh oh yeah, that that big brawl, yeah, that was yeah, crazy. That was, that was nuts. Uh, the game started and everyone just threw their gloves off and, and started, started fighting. fighting each other. Oh my god! It was Se crazy. The second it started, yes, it was. Oh awesome. my god! They're, they're angry about. Yeah, they're right. I mean, New Jersey New York rivalry is is real. Oh, uh, they had to throw. Those angry at the yeah. territory. The Rangers. Uh, they have a guy. He, I think, he concussed one of the Devils players. Oh yeah. So yeah. they were mad about that. That's what they kind of wanted to get back at them. Yeah, and we we lost afterwards, so that's that's pretty fun. Oh yeah, um, you know, oh, got into yeah. a fight and then lost. That's so, so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had, to, I had to pull a but, shot um, and bring it. No, in no, that's that's, that's totally fun. No, that's awesome. I love talking <laughs> about hockey with Johnny. Hell yeah. Well, um, okay. So, uh, any other comments or questions before we go? Oh yeah, I had a question. Yeah. Or my, one of my favorite. I don't want to like spoil the Blu-ray or mm -hmm. the, the okay. show. Yeah. But uh, my favorite part was uh, Rocco. You and Sean, you guys did like a little bit of a dance together for like half oh, like, yeah, two seconds. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, that, like hearing that song, that was one of my favorite uh, animes. But uh, how long did you and Sean practice that dance for? Oh, oh not, not at all. <laughs> we just did, we did the show so many times, we just by osmosis yeah. kind of got it. I remember it from watching the anime, and I would just do yeah. it, and Sean would follow me, and then we just got used to it. Oh, doing that's it. great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's one of my highlights of the show. I Other just remember, uh, uh, I believe you're talking about Hare Hare Yukai? Yes. Yeah, I just remember that from living in 2007. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh man, I'm getting anime That's club awesome. flashbacks. Yep. Yeah. I went to anime club once in high school and they were uh I, I've said this on stream before, but they were arguing over the color of Batman's belt. <laughs> they were going, it's gold. No, it's they paint it. No, it's yellow. No, they only do yellow because you can't do gold in animation. All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> people in the chat are going oh my christ my anime club ptsd <laughs> yeah yeah there's a there's a great uh anime club cringe video out there if you uh oh no you want to check that out okay anyway all right thank you for your call yeah, yeah thank you yeah that's it yeah thanks guys have a good See night you. you too thank you uh i do want to bring something oh, okay. up What's what that? Oh no, I, I didn't know if we were taking more calls. There you uh, go. Where are those, Kevin? Could you grab something for me? Those mm -hmm. special posters? Do you know what I'm talking about with the things? Yeah, on yeah. Them? 
Could you could you grab that? I do want to talk about something on here. I'm gonna uh, take my outfit off. Dude, I'm telling you, I was getting like sweaty up here. Thank you, everyone. Told me I look cool, but yeah, thank you, but you were wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, it's too hot. Um, it's too hot. I won't do it. Um, Casey Green's Anime Club is great. Okay, well that's different. Yo, we uh, we met Casey Green. Yeah, he was at our yeah. PAX booth. Cool dude. Shouts out Casey Green. Okay. So, uh, what I wanted to let everybody know is, again, at midnight, we're going to have a the Blu-ray, but also Blu-ray bundle. We only have a limited amount of those because we it's it's including all this leftover stuff we had mm-hmm. from the tour. And uh, one of those things is, of course, we're going to have signed farewell tour posters. But I'm I'm thinking instead of instead of randomizing these, how about just the first people? Yeah, yeah, I can do that for sure. I don't know how many we have. But listen, if you're one of the first people to order the Blu-ray bundle, you will get it's a it's a poster and it's perfect shape. There's nothing, yeah, yeah. nothing it's wrong with same, it. Same same as all the other posters. But then you look on the back. And these are when we were on tour, uh, I made a promo for our in five minutes Blu-ray. Yeah. Uh, where I wrote all the instead of making computer graphics, I wrote all the titles on the back of our tour posters and just Yeah, we were in uh, Colorado. And I just uh, wrote on the back of posters and hung. And you like, did this know. on the road. Some of them were like made in the van. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some and and we would van. just film it in, in spots like and here's stuff one, like that. This is the best collection ever. Yeah, yeah. But I just wrote these on the back of these. Posters. Yeah, during the tour. The first people that order the Blu-ray, that'll be on the back of yours. Yes, uh, but it's only you'll I, get one. These are like ten or twenty. These, of these were that's used it. in the promo. The promo yeah. you watch. These are all used in that. Yeah. So we've got. You know, all this stuff, just stuff written on the back of the posters. Anyway, these are screen used and those yes. will be included. Um, thank you for grabbing that. Yeah. Uh, we'll give those to like the first, however many there yep. are. Like that's I said, easy to figure out. A dozen people who, who order it. So get your order in in, wow, 23 minutes? Shit. Wow. Shop.mega64.com. Everybody get ready. Go to the shop. The pay, right now, the store has been updated. There is a farewell tour. Page. button there's a farewell tour button uh, right now there's just doug hug em items in there yes yeah, that's, pick, that's just temporary pick those, those up while you get the chance yeah but uh other than that though you know the blu-ray and all that stuff that's going to be in there soon there will be there will be some stuff we have not announced some secret stuff going up mm-hmm. on the store so stay tuned for that um Okay, so uh, let's see. All right, we got, okay, yeah, we're looking good. Um, okay, let's maybe, let's take maybe like one sure. more call. Uh, what, are you, what are you thinking? N- who's Neo Serenity? Uh, oh, that's okay. Neo Serenity. Hello. Hello, can you hey. hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. Hi. What's up? What's up? Yo. Okay. Did you, ha- did you have a comment or a question? Yes. Or you know. Uh, excited for the Blu-ray. Excited to relive it. I went to the Chicago show, so I saw the Rat live. Oh, you did. Oh, okay, you saw that live. You saw fuck. rats live on stage. That fat fuck. You tried to take over the stage for you guys, but I mean, you yeah. killed it regardless. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you. that's good to know we beat the rat. <laughs> <laughs> beat the rat allegations. Um. So, uh, yeah. Did you? Are you going to? Are you picking up the Blu-rays or anything you're ex- particular you're excited about? Uh, yes. The I'm excited for the rating of the hot moms in anime. That was okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> In case, in case people out there haven't seen the show, there is an anime club meeting that does happen, um, yeah. an, an anime presentation um, about midway through the show that does happen. So that does that is in the show. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. There's there's hacker. There's live hacking on stage. Yes, there are real hackers. Um, Todd and Aaron live. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, reviewing the the country. Um and uh, yes, there is an anime club meeting. There is an anime presentation, so I'm looking forward to people seeing that as well. 
That's all. That's my statement. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. I'm really excited too. It was really fun. But also, are you guys ever coming back to Indianapolis or did we scare you away? Um, I think the venue having a uh, toilet that was not connected to the <laughs> sewer system, but instead filled with McDonald's bags. Um, <laughs> And a, a and a red light and a red light from hell being yeah. a, um, a heat lamp um, and i want to say you'd like hit your head if you sat on the toilet like it, it was it was, up was on, so low yeah it was up on a dais it was kind of like yeah. the toilet in uh you see that movie parasite yeah, where yeah, they're yeah. kind of sitting up on one and the room's filling up with water it was kind of like that kinda yeah that up. was a heinous bathroom um but i i don't think we're against going to indianapolis no. uh it was not on our uh it was not on our routing this last time, but we're not against it. But we uh, we did cross that venue off our list, so maybe that maybe that eliminated our ability to tour there. I don't know. I don't know. There's got to be other venues. Had, yeah, yeah. There's way cooler venues, but you did have a Blair Witchcraft moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, is there a, a venue that you like? That is there a certain one we should do? Cool local one. Uh the Egyptian Room is pretty cool. That's that already that sounds, sounds better. Yeah. yeah, that sounds uh, awesome. There won't be rogue yeah. condoms there. Yeah. The yeah. only thing is it's like near our church, which is kind of weird, but like it's also cool at the same time. Yeah. I well, we played a church. We did play a church. Was that a Philly show? Yes. Yeah, we played that a church. That was cool. Philly. That's a super famous uh, hardcore venue. It was venue. crazy. Like, running, but then like the, the room that people normally perform in was closed. Yeah. So they just had us perform in the main church hall, like <laughs> yeah. to pews, mm -hmm. like in the pulpit and all that stuff. So I, I, I it was we ran out what the fuck is up everybody it was like oh no we have bad luck now uh someone came up to me after the show and they were like drinking the the what there's a drink called sex on the beach oh yeah and they were drinking it and they're like i'm drinking a sex on the beach in a church <laughs> yeah, i'll never i'll always crazy. think about that i was just surprised they let us do that yeah <laughs> like that i had so much fun like that was just like what how did we get here? Like, it I was, love it the history fun. of the buildings we play in sometimes. Yeah. And that one, like the green room, was just an old back room of the yeah. church with old radiators in the walls. Yeah. Like that venue was cool. The old punk venue down yeah. below was cool. We explored. We got to go in that little mini yeah, yeah. prayer room, or whatever it's called. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We took pictures in rooms we definitely weren't supposed to. Be oh in. yeah. <laughs> There's one picture I took. I think it was at that church. In a back room, there was a picture that Sean took of me with like a wide angle lens. Yeah. That looks so cool that I actually haven't posted it anywhere because I know if I ever do, if I need a cover image for something, you got it. I have that image. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's me just in the corner of a church room with a painting of some old fucker above me. Yeah, I don't know yeah, who yeah. it is. Yeah. But the painting of just some old man like that, and I'm just sitting under it like, like the, I, I don't know how to describe it, yeah, yeah. but it was such a cool photo. I'm like, no, 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 I can't You're waste that. that one. I can't waste it. That just was on too Instagram. good for Twitter. Yeah. So anyway, uh, but yeah. Um, anyway, that tour was fun. Yeah. The farewell tour was fun, and it's going to be all seen on the farewell tour Blu-ray coming in 17 minutes, mm -hmm. 16 minutes. Yeah. Hell yeah. What do you think of that? Excited, ready, ready. Thank My you. body is ready. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Reggie. All right. Well, thank you for your call. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for taking it. See you. Take care. See you. Goodbye. Okay, guys. I mean, we're almost, we're 16 minutes. We're almost minutes there. Out. We're almost 15 minutes away. This flew by. Yeah. When yeah. We just started. I'm ready to go all night. I think the Vision Pro m messed with the time for me because yeah. that, I think that hardened me that now two hour streams are like done. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> two uh, hours is nothing. Eddie Burback just made a video about the Vision Pro. It's yeah. very good. Oh, yeah. Check that out. I get scared. Not scared. I'm not scared. But you you mentioned it's a lot of, like, joking about it being dystopian or whatever. It, and I, it's I, not I, even joking. It's like, yeah, it's, it's a lot about that for but sure. But I, ju I just, I, that's, I do have an allergy towards that because I feel like every piece of tech that comes out, it's, oh, man, dystopian. Dystopian. I feel like we have a tendency to do that about everything. So hearing that, I was kind of like, mm, I don't know if I, I want to watch I think that. He, he, but oh, sorry. But you said it was good regardless. Yeah, right? he, like, he plays into that, but I think he also talks about the the actual general problem with having something on your face like that that's owned by a corporation, uh -huh. and, and yeah. like I think that's good. Uh, but he he 
the stuff that he plays into it being dystopian is not really about the Vision Pro. Yeah. He, he kind of does a bit about, like, there's, like, this trend of AI girlfriends. Oh. You, there's, like, ads for it on TikTok a lot where it's, like, a chat bot that pretends to be your girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. Really? And so uh, he's kind of playing into, like, I'm wearing this headset and talking to an AI girlfriend. Like, yeah. that kind of angle. And I think, it was, it, like, he did sure. it very well. It's super tasteful. Sure. Yeah, I, I guess where I was just getting annoyed when it's like they show it and it's like, oh, cool. Look how good movies look. Oh, dystopian. I, yeah, just putting the fucking thing on watching a movie. I don't like what. All right. Yeah. I just uh, I feel like that's just said about every device. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm putting this on and then I'm going about the rest of my life. I'm not really like, um, you know, I mean, I'll, I'll spoil a little bit in the video. He kind of like uh, when you have a corporation like you kind of have to always ap appease your shareholders mm -hmm. every year you have to kind of make a profit mm -hmm. and he kind of talks about how facebook kind of pushed the limits on ads yeah yeah and to the point where facebook is pretty much ruined now like there's yes. no, it's just ads uh just because they needed to make their profit margin larger and he kind of talks about like well if you have if, if it becomes the norm of this thing is on your face like mm -hmm. at what point do the ads stop like yeah they just yeah. become part of your life then yeah um, which I think is probably the best kind of take on it. Yeah. Without it being like, oh, you, uh, you the Logan, like uh, you, you, the Star Wars bullshit. Like, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, one one I thing. I said Logan's run. Like, I feel like that's not even like a <laughs> <laughs> one, ready one, player run. One like good thing about Apple that I could say, like if, if I could say anything mm -hmm. good in terms of like their business practices is that's one thing that's been good about them is they, they make their money from hardware yes. more than services or whatever. I mean, they, they do have services, but they're not like Google or Facebook where it's like it's ad based, collect all their information, yeah. get as many ads. So like, okay, that aspect of it, all right, they would rather just charge you $3,500 for the thing rather than harvest every privacy thing yeah. you can imagine. That being said, though, they do have to, I, I think that's, yeah, I mean, it, they're you know they're gonna find they they are a company like you said. Mm -hmm. They're gonna find every way to, um, you know, charge more for this or more for that. And then where does that go? Exactly like you said, all companies that require growth every fucking quarter. Yeah, there is going to be a point where they do something shitty to you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's 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 inherent. But like I said, like I said, I mean the only the only thing I could say as a compliment is like, well, at least they would rather overcharge you for a device than, you know, okay, well, we need to get more info. Now we need to get more info. Now we need to sell that info to Netflix. Now we need to give that info to you know whatever. Yeah. Um. So hopefully you know. But yeah, in that video, he kind of makes a joke like, oh, let, like maybe in the future we'll have these for like children to like uh, uh put sensory things. Yeah. On, on, like, and, 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 like he's making a joke, but it's like, well, we kind of do that with iPads. Like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they 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 definitely want to. I mean, I think the Vision Pro is, it itself is a way to diversify their streams. Where it's like, yeah, can't just okay. What do we do? Oh, how do we expand? We we've sold peak phones. We've sold um, computers. Not nobody needs a new computer right now. What do you do? Well, here's a new pillar. Mm. Is a, a headset. We've never had that before. You know, I'm curious if they really feed that or if that was just you know a one thing. Like, oh, here's a fun thing we did. All right, never mind. Yeah, I'm kind of uh, curious. I wonder because uh, it, it went from this like cool tech thing to kind of a, a punchline real fast. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, I'm sure th I think there's still people who use it regularly, mm -hmm. but uh, I found that the kind of like people started to kind of turn on it really fast. Yeah, so I, I really I, I feel like Apple needs to do something with it now. Yeah, because I do think, too. I think we'll know in a couple years whether or not that's legit. Yeah. Because I will say this. iPad had the same course. Yes. iPad was ah, big iPhone. Cool. The iPhone in for, general. For a year. It was mm. just like, eh, oh, you need a bigger iPhone? Great. And it, yeah. And w I feel like that was the story on the iPad until iPad 2. Yeah. Then when iPad 2 came, it was like, oh, mm, this does stuff. Mm. This this has the guts of a laptop. In. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like, what's going to happen with Vision Pro? Is it going to take a year to get there, or is it going to take till the second version of the headset? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it could be a long time before it's there's something really worth getting there. Totally. Or it, or it may never happen. So that I think we'll know in a in a year or two. 
it's it's too because there are people already calling it dead and i'm like eh, it's too soon to say that it's been out like a month two months mm. um but i think in a year or two we'll know if they're if it's like yeah they're not really doing anything else with it yeah that's over yeah so they, I'm, I'm curious they need to figure out like what it is i th- i would say because yeah I, they definitely leaned really hard in the the work element yeah and yeah. i feel like people who are buying it and being like well i don't you know how many people are doing yeah that? how many yeah. people are using it uh, like how many people have both a yeah a, a, a macbook and a vision pro you know? yeah 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 i'm very curious so uh and, and I'm, I'm hearing rumors that the next apple pencil might have a vision pro support yeah but like how's that you're, what are you doing like disney channel commercials like yeah. I'm, I'm rocco and this is the disney channel <laughs> that should have been okay. there from the beginning mm-hmm. yeah so i don't know what yeah no, we'll see we'll see what happens with that all right, everybody. We are less than ten minutes away. Yes. We are nine minutes away. You know what? Let's show them the trailer. Okay. Let's show them one more time. I mean, this is second. what's coming in less than ten minutes. About nine minutes. We are going to see. Oh. everybody remember you can pick up all that stuff in about eight minutes lanny to lanny to lanny to whatever thanks for your sub uh mentioning uh very sad mega six were ended after this show buzz mcfly thank you uh i i'm still getting i'm still getting uh comments that are like wait are you really breaking up <laughs> it's like bro the tour ended yeah we've like, done it we've moved the tour was over last year <laughs> we're still here but i like to keep it going yeah, yeah. that's it dude that's it uh, not to say Mega City Wars production value was ever bad, but man, in the last like two years, the production, the graphics, all of it has skyrocketed. Man, hell yeah, I disagree. Oh, <laughs> I, worse than I ever. Think I think it's been the toilet. No, thank you. I agree. I uh, everyone here really wants to do what we're doing. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, totally. and again, like last year, it was like fuck. I wish we could put out more videos. I wish we could do. I want to film this. I want to film that. There were so many things we needed to like get out of the way, and then once we did, we I feel like this year has been last year was the constipation, and we were fucking chugging Pepto or whatever all yeah, year. This is and the, this year, it's oh, we're, this year's the flowing. diarrhea year. <laughs> it's just diarrhea flowing. Year. This is we. This some years are some years are diarrhea years, and I think this is one of them. <laughs> You're gonna see more stuff from us than the last couple. I think we'll see. And like even when shit like fucks up, like wh- yeah. when, whenever like we do a live stream and like all our fucking lav mics don't work, like, <laughs> that's us just trying really hard to yeah. like be better and yeah, do better. Yeah. yeah. And even when it fails, like like we tried. Yeah. Yep. Deekman, thanks for your sub. Thank you. Um. Deekman. Yeah. So uh uh yeah we're all here we're all just a handful of guys wanting to make fun stuff. Three yep. guys make cool stuff. And three guys sucking exactly. <laughs> And um, so uh, we're going to bring it to you. And a big piece of that is this tour Blu-ray. So like I said before, the Master Collection Blu-rays, those are going to be coming soon. We're hoping at the end of the month. And I'm thinking this will be around the same time. Give or take. Give or take. But this has been in the pipeline for a while. So just want to make it clear to everybody, this isn't some pre-order that's like, oh, in a few months you'll get it. Um, This has been in the pipeline. So just give us... Again, I'm gonna say a few weeks. It could be. It could be more. It could be. We'll say three to five weeks, um, to 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 maybe give us some wiggle room there. But I don't. I think that's about. Check what your looking. mailboxes check, last check week. Check your mailboxes tomorrow morning, <laughs> and you'll in for a surprise. Yeah. So uh, anyway, yeah, I guess we should announce it here today. Now oh, let's just get it out of the way. Might as well do it. Five minutes till. Yeah. Um. We are being we are being acquired Warner Brothers, yeah, interactive. Yeah, so they, we're excited. They will, they will Warner Brother. 
They just warned a brother. Uh, update on the jean jacket. Yeah, all the, all the uh, Olympic board game stuff, the jean jacket will be done. Again, it might be around the same time as this other stuff. Yeah. We're thinking they're, they're done. They're, they're just on their way. Mm -hmm. But it might be a few more weeks. So I think the mobile game, or mobile game, the um, Olympic board game stuff, Olympic, yeah, Olympic board game stuff yeah. should be in the next few weeks. Lots of stuff shipping in the next few weeks. They're, yeah. Okay, everybody, five minutes away. We are five minutes away. Who's nervous in the chat? I'm going to say one of, <laughs> one of the things that's going up. I'll just say one of the things from the vault that's going up. I'll tell them now. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, go for it. It doesn't matter. Uh, we've got tour posters oh. yes. from past shows. Yeah, m like, um, like very past shows. Like, like Last Laugh Tour posters. But we have so many different posters from like, oh, here's one from Richmond, Virginia. Here's one from Philly. Here's one from New Jersey. Here's one from... They're all over the place. So we're going to... We have a poster um, coming to the store. It's, it's going to be a random poster. And you could buy one, and I think they're only going to be like seven or eight bucks. Yeah, there's, like there's, it's a cheaper price poster, but you could order one, and you'll get a random one from a random show. Some are signed yeah. too. So yeah, it's it's cool. Um, there's definitely I saw posters in there from the first last laugh shows we yeah. did in L.A. The, the test shows the in test L.A. Shows in L.A. We have posters of that, and those are actually different posters. They have different photos of me and Sean. Yep, that, that we hated. We changed so we it changed for the, the actual tour. <laughs> yeah, uh, last laugh Blu-ray. Somebody oh. Adobo in the chat is asking about. Yep. Hmm. That's my opus. You know what? Mm -hmm. You might want to check that link and, and soon in about you might want to get your mouse ready minutes. on the button. Take you might a click. Get your finger on the button. <laughs> Someone um, said their balls are clapping, so. Oh. I'll get that looked at. Yeah. I'm not going to look at it. Yeah, same. Um. All right. So is everyone ready? We are le we are less than three minutes away. Less than three minutes away. I'm gonna load up the link here. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna get ready. Get oh, all of it is gonna go up at the same time. None okay. of this, none of this one at a time bullshit. There, uh, this shirt is live. This this no. DVD is live. We don't do that anymore. It no. all goes up at the same time. Making sure everything here is good. Your shirt, yeah. In the night. Until we're burning bright. No, that's Black Friday. Fuck, we can't do Iron Man. <laughs> Guys, we yeah, can't we can't do Iron, Iron Man tonight. Man. Yeah, that's not uh we got actually we're told yeah. to not. We still gotta do, do rain and blood yeah. for this. Wait, that's a uh, South of Heaven, sorry. <laughs> um instead of Iron Man or is it Iron Man? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Instead of Iron Man, Kevin is actually gonna say a prayer. No, oh, yeah, I yeah. don't know at a single. nine. You don't know one prayer. Uh, I that dude. That's your fault. Straight up, I did not grow up in a religious family. We, yeah, I don't know. A prayer. Well, guess what? It's never too late because uh, when you show up at um, the early gates, Amen. Is they're that, gonna go. One? Okay, here. Let's hear the Our Father. Let's hear the Apostles' Creed. <laughs> and I you're, don't know. And any you're gonna go. <laughs> what? And they're gonna go. <laughs> and you're gonna. <laughs> 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 Oh, and you know who's, what, what's going to be next to you? A guy going, <laughs> well, he was a demon on steroids, but he had uh, pretty good one-liners. <laughs> <laughs> Funny type, call, no, tie it back I, I, into the beginning of the I'm stream. sorry, I don't know any prayers. Guys, one minute. Should I do it one minute early? Hey, everyone in the chat, you get the insight on this. I'm doing it one minute early. Yep. Yeah, early Fuck cast. it. Fuck Set it. it active. Boom. You get first Get dibs. on it. Everything. All right. I'm wait. Hold on. It's loading. Oh, the server's slow. Oh, this server's we're like fucked. This server's molasses. Are we, get, are we getting Aaron right on the phone? Oh, we might need to get Aaron on Skype immediately. We might need <gasps> to get him, get him on Skype immediately because we might be uh, fucked up right now. Just want to reiterate: if this sells out, we will be going to Beef and Bun. Uh, if it sells <laughs> out, it sells if out. it sells out, we'll go to Beef and Bun. If we don't have a full sellout tonight, I'll never go to Beef and Bun yeah. again. <laughs> At least not tonight. Okay. Hold on, I'm loading. I'm loading things up. Oh, I don't, mm, it's not making a lot of sense here. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. There's Seen certain a lot things. Of numbers. There's certain a lot of things. There, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, why is this? A, hold on. This is stupid. What, uh, the bundle did not go live. Why didn't um, this? Okay, hold on. Bundle is. Oh, eat my asshole. Sorry, everybody. That's not, <laughs> I didn't mean that. Um, but. Uh, 
it it didn't uh there was a skew number that didn't work shut up okay uh did this wait what did, did this this is pissing me off guys because i had i had numbers here i had a lot of numbers okay yeah save changes oh my god you idiot what is this doing it's not blank oh my god Done. Save. Oh my God. Guys, the, the bundle is not working. Hold on, everybody. Hold on. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. Yes. We got bundle fucked. We got bu yeah, it's like brundle fly. We got <laughs> we got bundle fucked. <laughs> uh this is not making any sense. Hold on, everybody. I promise we'll get this solved. Pardon our our dust. It's not blank. You you idiot. Refresh the page. I'm gonna have to, but I don't want to lose all this. I'm scared that it's not. No, no, but we already. Uh, yeah, just leave. It was already there. It was already there. Okay, let's go back. Yeah, it's there. It's all working. So why? Oh my god. Okay. Guys, Done. wait! Don't buy a Blu-ray yet. Wait till the. <laughs> yeah, wait. Okay, till the hold on. Bundle. Hold on. Stop buying the Blu-ray. Okay, it's up. The right, bundle is them. working bundle now. Bundle is go. It's up. All right, go, go, go. God, that was so annoying. That was. It was telling me uh, uh, the bundle didn't exist, or, and it was like, no, you got to name it. I named it. What do you? What did you think I was going to call it? Said it got it on DVD. I don't even know how that works. Uh, yeah, I don't even know how that works. Someone got it on tape. What? We how? didn't even release it on tape. Well, it's it's got to be something on our end if it's coming yeah. out on tape exactly be chic the bundle is a good deal it is you're yeah. getting like eight more things for for like 20 bucks yep more like why not do yes. that okay so anyway all right blu-ray is live uh let me just make sure everything's working okay so farewell tour vip bundle that's up done farewell tour blu-ray standalone that's up done hell yeah last laugh mystery poster that's up hell yeah why not yeah, yeah, go You'll for You'll get it. a random poster. You get There's a million random posters, a million options. Yeah, there's, a cool, there's some it. cool shit in there. So if you get multiple, I'll, I'll try my best to get you yeah. different ones. There you go. Done. Uh, and then uh, Doug Huggum shirt. Oh, that's Doug Huggum, but that's in there too. You can get yeah, that. Yeah. Farewell tour shirt. Again, limited stock. We yes. didn't reprint that, so it's whatever and we have And it may left. never get reprinted again, so get, you get I, it in right now. I ha you have my guarantee it will not get printed yeah, again. Yeah. Done. Last Laugh Tour Blu-ray, that is in stock. Oh, yep, guys. That is there if you want and there's it. there's not but many. Yeah, that's going to go fast. There's not many. There's not many. That's going to go so fast. Uh, let me just make sure I did that correctly because I want to make sure that's not busted either. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Cool. We're all set. All right, everybody. The, the Blu-ray is in stock now. Go get your copy at shop.mega64.com let's play the trailer one more oh, time let's play okay. it again play it twice twice remix it do like on cut <laughs> cut together a new trailer okay. and play can that you go too. edit a new trailer and then come out and then replay edit it that? by the time the original is done yeah go <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're back. Well, 
I am I am so out of date. What did Will Smith do the at the Oscars? Am I gonna play Slap Date again or? Yeah, play it. Okay. I, what? The slap that is still reverberating through. From Will Smith's Oscar night assault, banning Will Smith from all Academy events. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of him. <laughs> okay, I'm up to speed now. Thank you. Thank you for the slap date. Uh, there it is. Everybody, the last, no, the farewell tour Blu ray and all the accoutrements are up on shop.mega64.com right now. Uh, by the way, BT dubs, let me give you an update. I'm going to give you, a, I'm going to give you, it's going to be a, it's going to be an honest update. It's not going to be good, but it's going to be honest. The last laugh Blu ray is already gone. Gone. Ooh. That is done. Donezo. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now the VIP bundle is still in stock, but it is already, has already hit like double digits. Ooh. Not single digits. Not single digits, but it is already in double. Di it's We don't have a ton. Again, these are all limited because we only have so many things left over from the tour. Like yeah, the, yeah, this is all the, the stuff we the have included left over. included stuff. Exactly. Yep. Um, so that's that. Uh, the the Blu-ray oh, by no. itself that's hanging in there. We got yeah. we we ordered a lot of them. Okay, good. We're not going. But to it's the bun. but I don't know what'll happen tomorrow. You yeah. know, but you're good right now. But the VIP bundle is already going quick. So letting everybody know, check that out if you wanted it. Be on the ball. Uh, Last laugh mystery poster. It's a mystery poster. We actually don't know how that's doing. Yeah, it's a mystery. We don't There's know. There's so many variants and variables. Could be doing great. Could be doing terrible. Yeah, we, we could have sold we, none. We I don't know. It could be zero. Could be a. You tell sold, me. We sold. You a probably know more than I. You're the one buying it. Yeah. Could have been. We could have done uh, way of water numbers or uh, 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 Geely numbers or what's <laughs> another one? That's another uh, uh, Garden State. Garden State. Garden State no, that did good. Oh, did? Didn't Garden State? Wasn't that a hit? Oh, I'm thinking of hit? Jersey Girl. Sorry, Jersey Girl numbers. Oh, you're thinking of Jersey, Jersey Girl numbers. numbers. Yeah, different Jersey. <laughs> Jersey Girl numbers. <laughs> Poor Kevin Smith. If he saw this stream, he'd probably be upset. Oh. <laughs> uh, wanted to let everyone know too. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna add a turbo lot of numbers. <laughs> what <laughs> turbo <laughs> numbers? Turbo numbers. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm gonna throw because a lot of people have been asking me uh, about the time to take a long hard look Blu-ray. Uh, that is also still in stock. I'm gonna add that to the to the yeah, uh, farewell well. tour page, just so people see it and it's up front. Because I've had a lot of people uh, asking, you know, oh, what is that? Oh, that, that you know, that stuff. Uh, I ordered the master collection. That's in the master collection, right? Nope. That's that's a different yeah. um, set of material. The master collection box set that people are waiting on is uh, our core series, our original public access series. That went on ver Mega 64 version one, two, and three. That uh, went on to live on both public access and on mm -hmm. DVD back in the day. That's all remastered on Blu-ray. Yes. Plus all of our uh, public game experiments um, and anything connected to our original Mega 64 series. Mm -hmm. That is all in the master collection. But time to take a long hard look is um, like anything that didn't fit there from 2016 to 2019, specifically that range. Um, it's uh, sketches we had written, more kind of like written out sketches, yeah. um, commercial works that we did for different companies, um, just all, all kinds of weird shit that didn't fit anywhere else, and a ton of commentary that we do yeah. on all of it, ton of bonus documentaries behind the scenes. That that is that doesn't overlap with anything else. And then uh, this farewell tour Blu-ray that we're putting out tonight, yeah, that's its own thing too. Uh, Master Collection is just our core original series bringing video games into the real world mm -hmm. that series but um these other blu-rays stand alone they they have separate stuff than what's in the master collection yes because i I have had a lot of questions that are Me like too. oh the live show that's already in the master collection it's like it doesn't have everything we've ever done just everything in that core yeah. original series um i hope that makes sense i hope that cleared that up a little bit yeah uh but anyway but uh, yeah, get time to take a long, hard look. If you never pick that up, tonight's a great night to do that. Like throw it in the cart, save on shipping and order it with this. And you'll be very happy you did. Mm -hmm. There's a lot, a lot of material on that. Um, and then uh, people asking about the master collection, like we said earlier, stay tuned. That's coming in the coming weeks. Um, and this will ship hopefully in the, in around the same time. And um and uh, yeah, we'll, I'll, you're going to be watching Mega 64 stuff so much. You're going to be 
It's going to poison everything else for you. You're not going to be able to watch anything else ever again. It's going to be like, no, where's where's Rocco? Where's Derek? Where's Johnny? Where's Johnny's cool editing? <laughs> what's your favorite Mega 64? What's your favorite Blu-ray Mega 64 has released? Um, Is it only Blu-ray? Can't do DVD? You I'm do sure that. that yeah. Uh, the, the original Mega 64 time. Oh really? I love that. I used to, I watched it so much that my uh, uh, clamshell for whatever uh, broke. Oh, it's like got worn the out in the middle. The case broke. Oh yeah. man, I watched that shit so much. Um, well, thank you very much. Uh, I really liked Unboxing Ring just because I can't believe that exists. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I think there's probably Blu-rays you could get with more material and better material than that, but I just am like I can't believe this got made. Yeah. Uh, I never thought anyone here would be, ever be into that. Mm-hmm. So like, when we set out to do our, all our 20th anniversary stuff, it's like, well, what's what's the stuff that our, our fans have really resonated with that they want? You yeah. know, like what's something? And when we, when we went on tour, every fucking person on tour was like, "You think you'll ever do like an unboxing ring like collection?" It's like, <laughs> it's a shot of a garage door yeah, for 90 yeah. percent of it. Are you kidding? Yeah. But then after doing the last laugh tour, by the end of that tour, it was like, "I guess we just, we, I guess we need to look into this." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like everyone on in every city asked if they could buy that and it was like what what <laughs> so uh that was really fun to put together mm. um but if you're talking like what's the thing like best bang for your buck the best stuff to get part of me wants to say the version 4 blu-ray because one disc is the movie but the mm. other disc is a just the other disc is just an archive of like a decade's worth of skits yeah however that is also inside the master collection. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I mean, I, I guess I'm going to say master collection because it's got all that and more. It includes it. But uh, so I would say either master collection or the unboxing ring. I really like the in five minutes. Like, yeah, I really like yeah. that too. Yeah. In five yeah, minutes, is I great. really like that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah They're oh, all that, good guys. But yeah. the, but, <laughs> but that one it feels very homemade. Yeah. It feels very like everything in that in five minutes Blu-ray. Everything in there was made, edited put together manufacture everything in the studio yep that's what i love the cover could, the, the menus. menus yeah the covers or yep. the cover was shot in that room over there yep the the menus drawn on a whiteboard right, yeah, right there. over there yeah the disc I, art i just love that everything in there came from this little block of yep. land in san diego even when we went outside we didn't go that far it's just right here you know there is something really special about that to me um so uh, yeah in five minutes that's really tough yeah it, uh, but i would say i'm gonna go master collection or unboxing ring or that so uh, there you go there's three yeah uh will there be another chance to buy the master collection stay tuned because hopefully we'll have extra when it's all said and when done. When it, done when they're all shipped out we'll 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 always assess yeah um i loved i loved that in that one time dvd ended with some jabs at rental floss and then you got a cameo from him in the one after <laughs> oh yeah i do like the uh uh time is running out yeah that he offered to be in that that was really really cool that was really <laughs> generous of him yes <laughs> i was uh re-watching some of uh time to take a long hard look and i always forget i i won't spoil it but the bit at the end with uh a, a special guest always makes me laugh yeah Oh, oh, in the in the new one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it always takes off a guard. I forgot that that happened. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I forgot that was in there. Yeah. So I, when I saw their subreddit post about yeah, it, yeah. I was like, well, I made this like a year and a half ago, yeah. so I don't, I don't remember that. That's really funny. Um, Yeah, I think, we've, I think we've had a lot of great physical media. I pride myself on that. Oh, but you know what? I do have to say, shit, I'm sorry. Maybe my favorite one. Forget everything I said earlier the game of wars dvd oh because we oh, put yeah. all of the all of the videos together as one movie and then it had tom and terry, tom and terry. where we just had tommy sit there and watch and, and watch it and that was really really funny yeah that was um then Brennan lost signed the dvd with fuck these guys across it that's so funny. <laughs> when i lived in new york i would see him all the time I think I oh, really? my, my dorm room was like where like right by where he lived. I would always just see. Are you him. talking about Floss? Oh, oh yeah, I thought yeah. you meant Tommy Tellerico. I wish. Oh yeah, crazy. <laughs> no chapter skip is on that one is funny, but kind of annoying. Yeah, we purposely did that because I remember hearing that David Lynch did not allow chapter skip on his DVDs or Blu-rays. Uh, in fact, Criterion came out of Mulholland Drive. Mm. You can't chapter skip. On really? It. Yeah, because he said he said 
I actually loved it when he said it. He's like, sit down and watch the movie. Don't fucking skip around. <laughs> and I thought that was so good. He's like, are you, are, is it movie night or is it not? Yeah. yeah. And I, I was like, okay, all right. So uh, we, we literally talked about that in the studio. It's like, yeah, okay, Tommy would be that way about Gamer Wars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, all right, no chapters. Yeah. And it's like, it's so easy to put chapters. It's clearly chapter one, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, put uh, chapters? No. <laughs> like, like, why not? You know, but it just felt like something he would do, you know? Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I don't ever, I don't really use scene selection too much either. No, except, I don't. Yeah, I kind of just, I, I really kind of just always fast forward. Mm -hmm. Um, Jimmy Shins, I agree with you. Uh, Jimmy Shins. Jimmy Shins. Uh, one of my favorite DVD or Blu-ray features ever was Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Do you remember, I think it was season two or three, when you hit play all, what would happen? Mm. Did you, you guys ever see this? No. No. Master stroke, and no one's ever topped this. You hit play all, and they made, they put a separate video track on that DVD, where when you hit play all, it played them all at the same time. Oh, like squares? Like <laughs> on the oh, screen. Oh, yeah, I do remember that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, 13 yep. episodes on the screen, same time, playing at once. It, unwatchable. You couldn't watch it. <laughs> you, you couldn't do it. Oh my God! When I saw that, it was like they 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 made the best DVD. That is the best DVD. There's a short film I think on one of those called Radon that I every so often I'll pop that on because on YouTube I, I really thought like you it. were gonna say there's Radon, but what, what was the, I really liked one. Radon. <laughs> no, there was another one though, uh, another short, something from Mars or something from Hell or hmm. wasn't there another short on one of those? Do you guys anybody in the chat remember? Uh, the chat's too far behind, dude. It's like something from hell or something. I, I don't, don't remember. Uh, are your game consoles your Blu-ray players, or do you have a dedicated one? Um, I did get a dedicated one. I think I, I need to get a dedicated one. I have one PS5 yes. as my, but I kind of want to get a dedicated one. I can't recommend it more. Um, I got a Panasonic 4K Blu-ray player, and that thing is perfect and it has all the formats dolby vision hdr yeah, yeah. all that stuff and it doesn't require you to futz with it it automatically handles everything mm -hmm. and uh i actually felt like i was seeing things better on that versus on the console you know but i mean ps5 still has a very good yeah. player um but i uh i have gotten so much out of having a standalone mm -hmm. player Dude, I forgot about Assisted Living Dracula. That th brought me back. Maybe in. that's what I was thinking. People about. were saying three from hell, but I think that's something else. Yeah. Assisted Living Dracula. That I forgot familiar. about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But Radon, oh, I was, uh, it's not good, but I just really <laughs> like it. Yeah. Um, is it, didn't Aqua Teen come back? I think something? it's back. Really? Is anybody, is that on now? Or I don't is know. I'm watching it. Yeah. Yeah. I always think, yeah, I agree. Poor taste. This is your left. That's your left. <laughs> this is your left. I think about that, too. You're, You're going to die. die. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, guys, the Blu-ray is up. Let me just check how everything's going. We're going we're gonna to check the status. Make sure everything's hanging on. Thank you to everybody, by the way. Not only who picked up a Blu-ray tonight, but who came to see us live when we did it. We couldn't have had a tour without you showing up in the first place. So I want to say thank you to everybody. But, yeah. Circle it back around. Thanks to everybody picking up a Blu-ray yeah. tonight. This has been awesome. Um, farewell tour VIP bundles are flying. Mm -hmm. They are flying. So just letting you know, if you didn't get one, you might want to hurry up, up on that. ASAP. Yep. Get on that. Um, okay, so there, that's all going. Uh, the mystery posters. The, okay, we're hanging. We had a lot of those, so we're, we're hanging in there. Uh, the shirt is... About to sell out in a couple sizes, okay. so you might want to jump on that if you didn't get a get a chance. Um, yeah, thank you everybody for again, as always, for checking out our stuff. Um, three 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 facts in the chat. No, the we're waiting on the master collection that's coming soon. Yes, and again, and this is coming even sooner. You're not gonna have to wait months on this tour Blu-ray. That's mm. coming. That's coming around the corner. So yep, this is already in the pipeline. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you for bringing up Last Laugh Blu-ray. I wanted a lot. Hopefully you got one, Sleepy Cap. It was mm -hmm. gone fast, but hopefully you got one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, guys, we are we have released the Blu-ray. How are we feeling? Um, we could wrap it up. 
We can take another. I'm having call. a good time. We can uh, get to the weird questions in the chat, or we can wrap it up. I'm, I'm really, I'm really. I vote. Very neutral. Let's get weird. Let's get some Kevin, weird questions. What do you think, Kevin? We we have to consider you too. And you're not. I'm not saying I can't stay here all night. Okay. But I'm down to answer some weird. Three a.m. Some weird questions. Yeah, yeah. So not four a.m. What was Vision Pro? Late. Vision Pro was what six a.m. Yeah. Uh, five. Well, no, it went to. It came out at five, but I was done. You know, I'd yeah, yeah. probably six. Yeah. yeah okay. So I you, think I left at three. So you can't do that, but you could do like yeah. Three. See, Johnny, Johnny messed up and left at three. Yeah. No, Johnny. Le uh, let's see. No, I left like at four. Can no, you left at like you left at like three thirty. I remember yeah. you had an hour left, right? About. Yeah. Uh, no, it was. I thought it was about an hour and a half. Okay. I thought you left at like three thirty. Yeah. And almost four. Yeah. I'm just bummed we don't have a heartbeat this whole time. No. So yeah, that that, that kind of took away from yeah, that. Yeah. I feel like our sales might have even been a little better because of that pressure. Like, oh, 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 I have to, I have to get it. So <laughs> let, let, you want to do some weird? Let's do some weird questions. Weird questions, guys. <laughs> so now that we're late, we're pa the the Blu-ray's out. So go pick it up. Uh, <laughs> Shop.mega64.com. Now that we got the weird questions, here we go. Pulp you, or no pulp? <laughs> D no pulp. Da. Uh, asked, going. do you wipe or let it crust? Go ahead. <laughs> I'm I'm wiping till it's it's uh, there's no, nothing left. Yeah, I, I'm a clean per. Uh, I I keep it clean, dude. Dude, I I wipe to like to the point that it's like painful. Like oh, I same. I am meticulous. Let it crust. Yeah, I just uh, I tried the crust method um in like grade school and it didn't go over well. I'm trying to like time my shit where it's like before a shower. Uh, that's me. So like that's that's 100 percent me. <laughs> I, I'm, I have the, I don't I have the I want a bidet so bad. You guys are too okay. That's too far. You shit when you shit. Like <laughs> like like let it go free. Yeah. <laughs> you can't put um. So you, what you guys are describing sounds like Gattaca. You can't like try to <laughs> you know. My body times everything. it perfectly. My body knows. I always have to shit here. Same. When I'm at home, I never do. I, oh well, no, that's not true. <laughs> are you more of a uh, morning shitter or night shitter? Uh, morning. morning. That's so funny. I'm like totally. It's like evening into night, but never, ever, ever, ever the morning. I never, ever have. Uh, you know, that's not a thing. I just don't ever. Really? Uh, when we're on tour, I get kind of out of whack, and it's like whenever we hit a hotel, like it was. It, immediate. it was always when we would get to a venue yeah. for me, and it. That too. I hated it. Yeah. Because it's like I wish this hit me when I was. I mean, we were at the hotel for like two hours. And I could have taken care of yeah, this, yeah. but now we're at the venue, and there's one sketchy toilet that looks like the parasite uh, thing. <laughs> yeah, and it's uh, like, in the back, full of you McDonald's. You never know where you're gonna get. The hotel's always nice, and then yeah. we go to a venue, and you never know where you're gonna. Yeah, get. like it, sometimes it would be good, but yeah. a lot of times yeah, it'd be it's bad. like, oh yeah, we, the, here's this hole in the ground. And it's like, what? Okay, why couldn't yeah, we yeah. take care of this earlier? I was getting mad at myself. And sometimes there's only one. And it's hard when you have a bunch of group people yeah, trying to use and, it. And then, like, Garrett needs two and a half hours to, like, do yoga on the toilet or something. <laughs> so it's like, can I use the bathroom? Oh, Garrett's in there. Well, yeah, I asked at 3 o'clock, and now it's 6, and he's still there. So, like, what do Dude, we do? We're two tours down. I've never shit at a venue. and I and Really? I'm, I'm going to continue. Not ever? Not ever. Not once. I know you did. Because I couldn't... <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> we should get into that. <laughs> this should have been on the Blu-ray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we fucked up the Blu-ray, yeah. guys. I'm sorry. Delay it, add it. No. <laughs> uh, there, uh, I think it was the Boston show where, like, it was a problem for me. Where I was like, I like, I had to use the public bathroom, and yeah, I was like, we were still setting up the show, and I, I had this thought, like, fuck them, and I just locked the public bathroom. Uh, like, it yeah, had no, a lock on that, it, and I, I was like, that. Nah, you're, you're. I did that at the New York show. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, were yeah. like, oh, we just have these public uh, bathrooms right here, and yeah. I'm like, okay, okay well, I am up. I am going to seal the door. Exactly. And no like, one will you. enter. Goodbye. The New York uh, venue one was, uh, the one bathroom was weird because it, it felt like they added a bathroom into a supply closet. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. not a great time either. Uh, I think it was Michigan, maybe, that was actually a problem. Like, I'm, I'm going to, guys, I'm going to postpone the show. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, no, it was like everyone on earth, we had one private bathroom and that was all we could use. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think Garrett used it like three or four times. It was like, what did he eat? Yeah. It was I, like I he kinda, was in there all day. I got and, hit in the crosshairs of this for sure. And then, yeah, because yeah. you weren't the only one. Yeah, and yeah. it was like, we need to do, okay, got to do sound check. I, I'm barely, hang, I'm prairie dogging it, and we got to do sound <laughs> check. Fine. All right, sound check. Uh, blah, 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 blah. You can hear me. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I have to go or I can't perform. 
and it's like almost showtime. And then I see Garrett finally emerge from there. And it's like, oh my God, thank you. And then that door swings open. And before it swings shut, Johnny view into it. I sniped it. And I group text. I group texted everybody. <laughs> yeah, everybody we got a like, turn Guys, text. I can't do the show. If, 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 I, gotta I need the to use the bathroom or we have to postpone tonight's show. I'm like shitting in this long text. Like, I don't know what I need to do, but I need to shit or the show's not happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 like yeah. I have to like ultimatum straight up. Yeah. <laughs> the end. I never had to do that any other night. There was some oh. option one way or another, but that night. And then like, because I think like staff was using that bathroom yeah. too. I, and it was like, guys, clear that bathroom out. Or I'm gonna shit on stage. You know what? I'm gonna shit on stage. <laughs> you know, How do you like that? I'll just shit right here. I'll uh, shit right here. Hope that makes you feel better. <laughs> From my perspective, I didn't know any of this was happening. No, so you, I just went I to know, the bathroom. So you went to the bathroom and yeah, saw a text. And then so I got like, it like the <gasps> most terse text. But I was that, like, oh god. But that's <laughs> but that's why I specifically asked on. You didn't know, and that's yeah, true. yeah, yeah. But that's why when we're on tour, you gotta go, Rocco. Is it okay? I go poop now. Yeah, <laughs> and I'll say yes or no. You give the thumbs up, the Caesar thumbs up. Yeah, it's that simple. It's just a simple question. Um, no, you didn't. You actually did not know anything. <laughs> uh, it was really, I think, only Derek and Sean that knew. Yeah, yeah. Because even Garrett was locked in there the whole time, uh, so he didn't know, and you didn't know. But it was, it, it was a point where it's like, well, this needs to be known. I, I'm gonna have to like leave, in a and I'm just sitting at the merch booth, just finishing packing up. And I was like, I never, <laughs> I never use that bathroom. I'm just like, yeah, you're you're I, very lucky. To everybody else, go go nuts. <laughs> yeah, you're you're very lucky. I just, I it was always when we went to a venue, it's like, come on, and people were always like, oh, but maybe you're nervous. I'm not. I've done this a hundred times. I love performing. I'm not nervous, but it was just, uh, it's. I'm always evening to night, night shitter. Hey, after That's that show, that show finished, we all wrapped up. Garrett went back to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah he did. He didn't had the, the final shit, dude. He was like out of control. <laughs> <laughs> like that was ridiculous. Anyway. That's what I learned about what happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what Spunk Rio asked? What's everyone preferred sounding sounding rod size? Is it? Uh, like, I go like seven gauge. Is, is it? Is it like? Is it like where the the wire gauge where like the the bigger the number the smaller or the smaller the number the bigger? I think bigger number is better. Okay. Well, it is. In so some I'm ways. gonna just crank it up to 11. Yeah. And I I like 11. 12 meter, 12 millimeter or bust platinum sergeant. Saying okay. I, I probably agree with that. Okay. Because I got a my urethra is like cavernous yeah. sort of. So it needs uh, you need to get and it's got to be that thing's got to be sharp or I'm never gonna feel it. Because I got so much going in and out of there that it, you need to. You're like, like splunking. Anyway, pick up our live tour Blu-ray. Yeah, Mega it out. Farewell tour. <laughs> on Blue Ray the, now. the sounding checks and stuff. All right. We asked for the weird questions, so we're getting a yeah, buzz. Yeah. I asked, list your fetishes alphabetically. Okay. Um, alphabetically? If you can. If you can. Okay. Um, <laughs> ass stuff, butt stuff. <laughs> <laughs> ass stuff, <laughs> butt stuff. <laughs> butt stuff, cock stuff. Cock stuff. Dick stuff. Dick stuff uh, <laughs> email. Email. <laughs> Email. What's your email, email fetish? A uh, female. Female. Uh, <laughs> Gmail. Gmail. <laughs> Hair. <laughs> Hair. I like it. I. I like to have sex. J. Jump. Jump. I like to. Do, you know, I'm excited. <laughs> K. K, k kill screen. If you're interested. Yeah. Yeah. If you're interested. I like it when There's a girl's a sex, interested. Sex kill screen coming up. <laughs> sex uh. kill screen. That happens anytime <laughs> I have sex. That's just. What happened? Okay, uh, L. Love. Yeah, that's love. The that's the most important. That's fetish. the greatest fetish of that's all. That's the best. That's the best fetish. <laughs> Monster oh, fetish. That's a cool one. Yeah, like. Ah! Oh, thank you. I like that. N. Not. Not dangerous. I like to be yeah, safe. Yeah. Uh, o. 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 Face. Yeah. Okay. P. Enough said. <laughs> R. R. R uh, being a rascal. <laughs> S like sex, dude. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Keep it simple. I think. Yeah, keep it got, simple. Keep stupid. it simple, dude. Could stand for that. that yeah. Too. Uh, T. You're spilling the tea. Can we mute? No, no, no. Oh. Can we mute this? No. Everyone, okay, put your hands over your mic. Oh. <laughs> he puts it over his ears. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Two. Oh. So hopefully, that, hopefully hope no, that didn't no, go no, no. We covered over a mic. I don't need to be canceled. Tonight. Why would anybody hear it? We covered it in a mic with our hands. You <laughs> underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. 
V. <laughs> Guys, come on. Do we need to explain it? Did Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> what's that? Oh, shit. I, what's after V? Do you, W? Water sports. Water sports? <laughs> Wait. X. X, X. X, E, S. Oh. Backwards. <laughs> Tenant style. <laughs> why? Why not? <laughs> Z? Uh, zebras. I actually like to dress like a zebra. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, that's just the furry thing. And there you go. That's, oh, that's... I didn't say furry for F. Oh, no. Damn. shit. Well, you got it with the zebra thing. <laughs> anyway, there's all the fetishes in order. In order in alphabetical so, order. Hope you guys appreciated that and uh, you liked uh, what you agree and you have the same fetishes as us. Thank you very much. <laughs> Dude, f- email female Gmail. Is, yeah. is my, <laughs> that's the funniest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. One day we'll hear a Q. Oh, do we skip Q? Oh. Q, uh, uh, <laughs> Questions asked. <laughs> Question mark. Question mark. <laughs> Did we skip Q? Yeah. Man. Q tips. Uh, yeah. Q, Q is for F is for foot. Q is for Quentin Tarantino. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Miss, Jiz- Miss Jism. Oh, well, oh. that's his own finish. Uh, okay. When was the last time, when was the time you guys got starstruck? By the way, thank you for the comments. Come, people who came to the tour, I appreciate that. Uh, what was the time you got starstruck? Um, I would say uh, there. I have been a couple times in Weird Al's presence. Mm. Oh wow! And I'm just jello. <laughs> okay, hold on. Breaking news from Ryan. Hey Rocco, Cherish and I are at Trader Sam's right now, and the green beans are okay, but they are nowhere near the dentai fung beans. Exactly. Okay, hold on. All right, we're gonna ban hey, Doc Ryan right now. You can't just deep fry a bean and throw on a side of mayonnaise but and have it call it a fucking delicious dish. I think you can. But no, that's, that's okay. They fucking deep fried beans. It's not just mayonnaise. They do shit to it. it, it, yeah. it call it aioli. It's just yeah. mayonnaise. It's, it's it's. But they do something to the mayonnaise. Yeah, they that they makes it different. Scoop it out of the that jar. That makes it aioli. Pop it into a little ramekin. But let me just let me just call this what it is. Can I? Kevin is agreeing with Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell, man? Uh, sorry. That's the team you, ch- you chose. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh. I, I'm. A, I'm. A, I, I like mm. the. I like the beans at Din Tai Fung a lot more. They're garlicky. So, They're delicious. Hey, do they just... squirt you with water at Din Tai Fung? No. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> when you order a I, stormy I, drink. I, yeah. You, to be fair, I'm. I'm. I'm not the person to go to because I, I'm not a fan of Trader Sam. Oh, what? What? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't like being yelled at and sprayed with. Stuff and, and I like it. When, it's when, fun. When, nah. It is really fun. I have a I have a vendetta against tiki drinks, especially since I don't drink, in that they're a hundred percent ice and yeah. they're like three sips of they are very expensive of yeah. ju- fruit juice. And I'm like, I don't want to spend fifteen dollars on three yeah. sips of but fruit they put fruit juice. Five different alcohols in one drink. Yeah, I know, yeah, but yeah. I don't drink that stuff. So it they still do the ice trick on all of them, and I'm like there's no there's no drink in here. I I I love I love the vibe of that whole area so much that I I just enjoy being there. Yeah, I like having uh, yeah chilling out with friends. There. Fun. Yeah. yeah. I just don't get any drinks or food. I have good memories. No, I I don't. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I had some good Sam memories. I like their I do like their ramen. Yes. Uh, they have a few food things. I'm actually like oh I'm looking forward to having that. But it, uh, it's mostly like finger food and shit. It's not like you know it's not like a restaurant. But. I like their beans better than the Typhons. And oh. Ry- and Ry- and Ryan and Kevin are in full agreement. Dude, well, on, well, they're going to be right day. next to each other. So we have to That's do some true. we have to do a video based on the thing, but one is actually bean seasoned, fest. delicious, buttery, nice green beans. Yeah. And one is just thrown in a deep fried fryer. beans with good dip. It's, it's bland and not no, not that not. good. Didn't Typhong, I prefer like I'd rather just eat a dumpling, I think. Over yeah, the beans. That that's how I, at both places yeah. there are things I would rather get than either of them. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> in terms of if, beans we're are only, good, if we're only yeah. talking about beans, okay. but I like them only both. only down to beans because I agree. Yeah, yeah. To, like uh, I'm. It's a dumpling place. I'm gonna yeah. get the dumplings before the yes. beans. Oh, but I want some of those right now. I know. Me too. Down to just the beans. I'm I'm gonna have to always put my vote. So here's Fung. what we're gonna do. As Kevin said. Soon, Din Tai Fung will be open. Yep. There's gonna, they're, they're building, building it right now. They're opening one right outside downtown, uh, right right outside Disneyland. They're going to be it, like you can walk from the gate to Din Tai Fung. Once that's open, and 
it will be feet from Trader Sam's. We will do a video comparing the beans. <laughs> we will bring. I think it would be easiest to get. Um, I you to get the beans from Trader Sam's to go is easy. They they yeah, offer yeah. that all the oh, time. Done. So we'll get that and we'll sneak it into Din Tai Fung. Yeah, yeah, and we'll eat both beans at once and let everyone know or, who has the best green beans. Yeah, but Din Tai Fung, we've gotten it to go before. We That's got it. They do it too. Stuff like that. Actually, that might even be easier. We to might be able to easier and just do to go for both and pick yes. a spot and do, oh, let's do and that. Do a bean bean off. Okay. Or something like that. We are going to do the the great bean debate. Yep. Uh, coming soon. Whenever that opens, summer. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, summer or fall. I think it'll be summer. Yeah. yeah but yeah. we'll see. Um, bean yeah. battle. What? Yep. Bean battle. Bean battle. We will. We will. We will do that. The truth is, whenever it's, I'm going to be real though. Uh, this is going to like destroy the video before we even do it. Whenever it's this food versus that food, I like. I have my own opinions, I yeah. guess, but I fucking uh, both of those I would eat a uh, thousand pounds of. I yeah. there is so little food that I don't like. It's sad. I wish <laughs> I was more picky, but I'm not. Like if you put both of those in front of me, I'd pick out. Yeah, I just can't. I really can't be mad, but you know we're we still need to know scientific. We'll be very scientific about it. Um, yeah, it'll be like Smosh Food Battle. Thank you, William. <laughs> the way. The sad machine. Thanks for your sub. Um, oh, glad I got to meet you all at the Denver show. Thank you. Thank you for coming sad out. Machine. Um, beef and bun best order. Well, Blu ray still in stock, so yeah. I can't yeah, answer yeah. that. I hey, feel like I can't really. Yeah. I'll be real with you. Hmm. Getting a little hungry. Uh, I, I can't. <laughs> I can't even think about it. Could, like, I could eat. I could eat. So now it's on Kevin. Yeah. Uh, I could get Kevin I, could spoil I, I the get, fun. I get ice cream. Oh, that's about it. I'm not getting a burger. Until you guys I have burgers. Said, I know. said I could eat, but in my brain, I never even once thought about actually thought about beef and bun. Yeah. And I, d yeah, yeah, that might be. Um, that, that's to, to be that fair, be I think they closed in like 20 minutes. Oh, so, never mind. Right. Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I I don't know if I could, no. could do that. No, yeah. no. I was just saying, I was surprised. I'm, I'm getting a little hungry. I am kind of that yeah. way too, and I thought I killed myself earlier. Same, I thought yeah. I was like done. <laughs> beef and bun Blu-ray. That hey, <laughs> all of our beef and buns. <laughs> that would be fucked up. Uh, <laughs> doing commentary on that. We should do it in your car. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, do yeah, do commentary. <laughs> that would be the most psycho commentary. That would <laughs> that would be the most psycho physical release. <laughs> that, like who who why why? Oh my god. Would people in the chat be real? Would you actually buy it, or are you just like, oh, wouldn't that be funny? And then like the the day comes and it's and like, and then no. it's like uh, nobody gets it. It would be hell. Be real. Say yes or yeah, no. Yeah, be yeah. real. We won't be. Don't, a, we don't, won't be offended. Yeah. Believe me, I understand if you say no. Yeah. I'd say no. It's like I'd, <laughs> yeah, I'd hate myself for it, but yeah, it's like <laughs> twenty hours of fuck. Like it's yeah. a lot. We, we talk a lot. You yeah. get to see me uh, spill syrup all over Rocco's car. Oh yeah. yeah. You get to uh, see the, the what is it called? Bucket of fish? Yeah, a tub oh, of fish. Yeah. Tub of fish. Good uh, joke, but no. All right. I, I To be fair, I'm seeing a lot of no's. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot of yeses, which is great, but a lot of no's as well. So that's okay. I understand. Believe me. Um. Oh, the shirt saga. The what? Shirt saga. You're trying you, to get the you shirt. You're tracking down the shirt. Oh, yeah. That, that could be the whole Blu-ray leading yeah. up to that. <laughs> That would be kind of neat. I wish you guys had been there when they got me that shirt. I know. They call, they called me and they were like, hey, we've had this number sitting here for a long time. Um, We do have your shirt. Do you want it? And I was like, oh, yeah. And I came down there and I they were like, oh, we need to talk to the manager. Hold on. And then they were gone for a while. I was sitting just in the lobby for, or not the, you know, the, the, the dining room mm. for a while. And then the girl came out and it presented it like, like, like the king, his sword. Like she came out with it folded, like on a platter. Yeah. Like, Sir, here is your shirt. And it was like folded perfectly on the like tray that she presented. And it was just like, oh my God. And I took it. Off. I was like, thank you so much. And uh, I wore that. I wore that to Creator Clash that year. I wore yeah. it. I wore it to so many different places. And, I, and uh, it's funny. Of all the people that commented on the shirt, it was Harley from Epic Meal Time. Go figure. I wear a burger shirt. 
We're, people are about to die in the ring. You're wearing a burger shirt? He said something you're, like you're that. You're known for fucking bacon strips. No, dude. but that's yeah. what I'm saying. That's yeah. funny. It's of course he's zero oh, in yeah. on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was joking around, but it was, okay. it was fun. Have you guys experienced Waffle House? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Waffle House is great. Love Waffle House. Dude. I was thinking about our trip to Waffle House. Was that at Creator Clash where we yeah. got into the best at, Uber at, I've ever been in? Oh, that, that Wait, what the, was the Uber? What was where it? It was like this like this woman w- had like the bunch of screens and she let us put like play music. Yeah, it was and, cool. Yeah, yeah. It was and then like we a, put Apex Twin on and <laughs> we like drove away. Yeah, 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 that was cool. And and when we called the Uber to get picked up from that Waffle House, it's her again. Yeah, well, yeah, we got her twice. Yeah. yeah, that was great, dude. Wow. I miss that woman. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. She was great. She yeah. was great. Went to Sweet Tomatoes twice on my third visit. Close for good. Oh, yeah. Have you had Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles? Have you yeah. guys been there? I've been there yes. a, uh, a few times. It's been it's years, though. though. Yeah, yeah, Good. Yeah, I went there, I want to say, maybe early last year and had a very good meal. I, I don't remember what I ordered that was different, and I was like, damn, I'm, I should have done that before. But yeah. I don't remember what it was now, so it doesn't matter. I talk some shit. Okay. Mm-hmm. My TikTok feed has gotten taken over okay by this twitch streamer named sketch and i i can't i can't hear it anymore oh he does this he puts his finger up and goes hello brothers and i can't i can't hear it anymore i'm gonna fucking kill someone if i have to hear that shit (laughs) one more time is there any like i'm not interested in this button they took it away what really they took it away What? that doesn't make any sense I can't hear him say "What's up, brothers?" or he he, oh. he goes like "Tuesday, Tuesday." Oh. I can't hear it anymore. Oh. <laughs> you got to delete that app, bro. I'm about to. De- I'm so glad they're banning it. <laughs> yeah, in fact, that might be a good thing now. <laughs> uh, I've heard a lot. I only get queso on my feed. It's fucking same. I can't with these Twitch streamers. Sorry, I'm mad. <laughs> um, when you guys are on the East Coast, did you fuck with Wawa? Yeah, yeah, yeah I love Wawa. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Fuck with Wawa. Uh, when are we getting a food compilation Blu-ray? That's what we're talking about. I don't know. Some people say they don't want a beef and beef beef and Blu-ray, blue br- blue and bun. I can't be hearing this right. Now. Beef and blue. I can't be hearing. I this still can't. Right. Can't be watching. Email, this. female, <laughs> Gmail. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys ever done one of those food challenges at a restaurant where you get the meal free if you finish it in time? We were just talking Dude, about that. I want to do one. There is one it at a local me, diner. That we keep debating, like, could we do it? Could we do it? We saw someone attempt it last time we were there, and it was pathetic. To yeah, be honest, it, it was like, they were Googling halfway through. They were Googling how to eat better, yeah. like how to eat faster or more. And yeah. we were like, oh, it's, if you're Googling, you this, could just it's tell over. from their you're body done. language. Oh, they lost. Yeah, they're, as they're soon as they this. were handed to it, it was like, oh, so yeah. I do I just um, do I eat it? And it's like, no, you've already lost. Yeah, you've, you've already lost. Yeah, you, you, you have to go in with a plan. And you were never yeah. going to complete it in a half hour. Yeah. Dude, someone just said a Christmas cast Blu-ray. I'd Even I'd buy that. All like, the Christmas cast? That'd be you, awesome. You could, we'd give it to you for free, dude. I know, but it's a good, <laughs> it's a good idea. Oh, and we're going to charge you. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That, that might be scary. To, I think no yeah. one wants to revisit that footage. Yeah, I know. <laughs> What's the longest you've ever spent scrolling on Instagram or TikTok? Oh, dude, I, I've... Done four hours on TikTok. Oh my really? god! I'm oh, not yeah. an endless scroller guy. Not no, good. me neither. I, I I I scroll till I am up to date on the yeah. latest posts from Once my I friends. Once I see that Instagram, like you've seen it all, yep, I'm done. I'm done. Yep. And and same thing for Twitter. I go. Oh, I've seen this. I've I've caught up to what I've seen before. Yeah. I'm done. Once I'm caught up, I don't yeah. look at anything else. Uh, and TikTok, I don't really look at anyway. I have I have a TikTok now, but I don't I don't um look at it. Yeah. I just kind of post and then leave. Mm. But I think, you know, I may retire because my latest TikTok is my most viewed. It's it's about to hit a million. Oh, uh, really? Uh, uh, with uh, going to see the Ava movie mm. and with the b- ha- butter on my hand and all that stuff. That got a, that is just shy of a million. I'm like, well, I, I conquered it. I beat it. I beat TikTok. So what else is there left mm. to do? Um, begging you guys to let Ryan host the next Christmas cast and choose all the food challenges. No. Why no. would we do that? No. Who won last Christmas cast? Garrett? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Garrett's been winning too much recently. Yeah, he's yeah. winning. He like needs everything. to be brought down. Yeah. Yep. I'm telling you. Um, I'm just trying to stream on Twitch Prime. My Prime is like 80 bucks. Um, yeah, by the way, it is a new month. So if you're watching us on Twitch, you get a free sub every month from Amazon Prime. Twitch Prime or Twitch Gaming or whatever the hell it's called. I don't know. what. I don't even know what it's called. Prime Gaming? I don't know. But... 
hook up your accounts. Give us your free sub for the month, and you're going to get special features on the chat. You're going to get special av- uh, uh, emotes. You're going to get all kinds of stuff. Just throw us your sub for the month. Thank you, New Age Retro Steve. You just did it. Yeah. Um, anybody can. Throw us your sub on Twitch. It can't hurt. Um, okay. Uh, you guys smoking weed yet? Not Go yet. Ahead. Not no. yet. Not yet. Wait two minutes. Our call's over. Uh, we can take a call. Rocker, are you going to see CDO and crew at that convention? That happened last week. Yeah, it already happened. We, we couldn't go. Yeah, yeah, we couldn't make it. Uh, I wanted to, but and it I was couldn't. like pouring rain that day. It was like, like a, a really bad storm was, down here, and I just tough. could not get yeah. up there. Yeah. But I, I, I would have loved to have been there. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Let's talk. What do you? Let's talk to somebody. Sure. How about beef? Beef. Uh. What do you think? Beanbag. Beanbag. I kind of like that. Wait. Welcome to Chili's. Let's do Welcome to Chili's. Dude. The original Welcome to Chili's guy died. Yeah. Oh, Who's that? Shit. Yo. Oh, hey. Who's the original Welcome to Chili's guy? I, he was like a Viner. Yeah. Oh. I forget his name. He died, though. Oh. Yo, sorry. I, I was making quesadillas. <laughs> making but, uh, what? Quesadillas? Yeah. <laughs> what flavor? But uh, I picked up, picked up a bundle. Nice. Nice. Thank oh, you yeah. so much for doing that. I just I just got back into a Mega Four Kick. Uh, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, like after high school, you know, did the whole college thing, and I don't know, became preoccupied with shit. And recently, I was like, man, I haven't seen Mega Sixty Four in a while, and like, I just started going through all the videos. I was like, dude, I gotta support the boys, cause I miss I missed both tours. Like, I I really wasn't watching at that time. Yeah. yeah. Well, now you can catch up. So, yes, you will. You will be yeah. glad you did. This is yeah. this is the one. I, I like this show so much more than I like the last laugh. That was mm-hmm. fun, but that was our first. Oh, look, our first tour. This one is like, oh, I'm inside a Mega sixty four video that's happening in real time. So, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess kind of a question, but it, it's something that I've thought about for a while. Mm-hmm. And uh, really, when I was kind of going through all the videos again, you guys remember like how you could just go down the rabbit hole on YouTube. Like, I remember, like, I would watch a Mega 64 video and then get, like, a video from, like, Sean's channel from, like... It was, like, recommended ago. in the side yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. And, then, and then, like, one of Rocco's video and then, like, something from Gary. And now it's, like, three Mega 64 videos and then it's just... And then it just goes to, like, something that I watched, like, two weeks ago. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, totally. Like, yeah, yeah. It, it, it kind of sucks. Like, I remember being in, like, middle school... And just like picking up all this like random lingo from these videos, like like smooth as eggs mm. and shit, like like do the skit. Like, the yeah, like where the hell did you get that from? Like, uh, yeah, but you can't you can't really do that anymore, and it kind of sucks. So, I find myself yeah. just like, going. I have to like go to the the separate channels and then scroll all the. Yeah. Just click a random video. Yes, I agree. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. Sorry, I, I sound real talkative. But no, no. <laughs> yeah, no, what? That's good. No, did you have a question about that? Uh, I don't know. I guess just have you noticed it? But uh, I had a had a real another question that I was. But I think you guys brought this up long time ago, man. Yeah. And uh, but you know things. You guys have been to more conventions and stuff, so. I was going to say, like, is there any time you guys have been to a convention and maybe you wanted to meet someone and it, like, just, like, exceeded your expectation of, like, meeting that person and, like, what you thought of them based on the experience? Because uh, uh, I think it was, like, RTX 2014, and uh, I think the crew was split uh, half at Anime Expo, half at RTX. Yeah, we had to do that a few and, times. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and um, it was like fucking, I think it was like 14 or something, and uh, I I went to the Mega 64 panel, and uh, I was the last person in line to ask a question before they cut it off, and I was like so scared, like my first convention ever, was like I was alone, like my parents weren't there, like I didn't have any friends, and like, like Derek put me on the spot, he's like, dude, you're the last question. Make yeah. it count. 
<laughs> and uh, after after that, uh, I went. Uh, the guys actually recognized me, and like I got a free DVD, and like they signed it. We took pictures, and I was like, "Holy shit!" Like it was like my first convention ever. Probably the best convention I've been to. A couple now, you know, have my stuff and cool. I've been to some, but that was like literally like that was like day maybe day one or two i don't know but like the rest of the days like i was just coasting i already got my full experience off of that yeah cool so but like uh, did you, th- you guys have a well thank you for all the kind words yeah, yeah. um so a convention that uh we met somebody and it exceeded their expectation uh exceeded the expectation we had i guess of the situation um i would say going to we did we went to exp con like five years ago yeah yeah i think the last one in 2019 i was there yeah yeah and uh meeting um both the guy who plays kratos what is his name chris oh yeah something i forget i can't remember super cool dude chris kratos chris kratom (laughs) yeah chris kringle uh no i i forget christopher judge yes yeah 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 that guy and um, uh, d- the dude who played Rufio, Dante Bosco. Yep. Oh, yeah. And both of them, it was like, oh, f- f- these guys fucking roll. Uh, Dante Bosco, we rode in a car with him. Now, we have ridden in cars with voice actors before, and some of those did not go well. Some of those, it's like, Haha, I'd rather die than be in here right now. Yeah. Dante Bosco actually asked about Mega 64. He was super friendly you know was like you know what i mean it was like a good yeah, conversation yeah. as opposed to just eh, you know like i'm a i'm a big celebrity don't bother me no he was a wonderful dude i got to say hearing his voice say mega 64 was weird yeah <laughs> you know what i mean like rufio's voice yep. going huh, mega 64 yeah okay mm-hmm. and it was like that it was weird hearing that yeah um you know but he was really good yeah. uh and really really nice guy um you know what we did? I should clarify. We did ride in a shuttle to, through New Zealand once with Steve Bloom, who is another great voice actor, and he was awesome too. But we had a couple voice actors that were not, not on that <laughs> trip, but no, no, other ones that we've dealt with. Mm-hmm. That it was actually uh, I had heard bad things, and it was worse. So going in the other direction, <laughs> people. I don't need to name them because people have already named them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> people have already vocalized this so I, i'm yep. good on that but uh i i yeah i have to say like christopher judge and dante bosco i'm sure there's somebody else but um i mean fucking hideo kojima when we first met oh, him yeah. super cool was like hey i heard he's like gonna be a good sport oh okay that's cool and then we get there and he's like no literally like uh, let's go in public metal gear skit let's go where do you want to go yeah, yeah, yeah you know and it's like like his handlers have to rein him in like, hey, Hideo, don't, don't, you don't need to run through a target with them. Let's just do it right here. Like, you, don't need, <laughs> you don't need to, uh, you know, do a backflip off the stairs. Like, you can mm-hmm. just stay here. You know, they actually have to, like, hold him back because yeah. he's such a good sport and a big kid and, like, wants to get involved. So, you know, yeah. I mean, any of those people. Yeah. Blown away by. Sweet, sweet. That's I don't know if that answered um, your question. Oh, yeah. Cool. And uh, uh, I guess a little one the end but I, I wasn't here for the full time but mm-hmm. you guys said that the the full collection what is it called it has like yeah all master collection mega yeah. 64 master collection you might have some in stock we always try to run off more uh but we always have to see what it's looking like after they're shipped because yep. sometimes things mm-hmm. happen where it's like it goes both ways. Sometimes you ship everything and it's like, oh, like a bunch of people, uh, you know, uh, leftovers off the earth and we have yeah. all these extra Blu-rays. That does happen. Sometimes yes. when you do a pre-order, people just vanish. Mm. So uh, then we have some of that. Then in the other direction, it's like, oh, you know, someone uh, needed this or the post office, uh, this one yeah. went vanished into the Bermuda Triangle. So we needed more. It, we just have to see how much we have when it's over. But I, yeah, I mean, I hope. Think, yeah, dope. Uh, hopefully we, we will have enough yeah. to go around. Yeah, I think I picked up version one at that convention in 2014. Yeah. And it's, it's, been a, it's been a little minute. So yeah. Like, so, yeah, hopefully those come back up and get all of them. Because, like, yeah. I, dude, I, I've been I, – I rewatch that one, like, every couple times a year. And I'm like, man, what's the, like, where, where does the story go? I just haven't gotten the other one. 
Sure. But, uh, well, thank you very much. I yeah, appreciate yeah. that. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, uh, say, fuck, I feel like <laughs> it's been so many years of wanting to talk to you guys, and now I'm like, you guys so well, you yeah. know what? We'll, we'll, we we're always going to have yeah. Discord open, yeah. so that yeah. we'll be there's here. always an open door, and and uh, you know, next time we'll we can answer even more of your stuff. Yeah. So uh, yeah, thank you for being around all this yeah. time. Yeah, thank you so much. Enjoy your thank quesadilla. You, thank, you. <laughs> thank you guys. Have a good one. You See you. Take care. Uh, thank you, Guy, uh, and thank you, John Demental, oh. for your subs. I yeah, know there yeah. was someone else in the chat that I missed during the call too. I totally beefed on that uh rabbi i don't know what his name is in the chat rabbi Lloyds, uh says what are all your body counts go ahead i don't know what was garrett's uh well he said 35 30, but that was 35. his age he messed yeah, that 35 up. okay uh john oh yeah uh phil phil mccrevis thanks for your sub everybody in the chat is saying 35 guys yeah. that's not holy that um real talk do you wipe after you pee or just shake those drops um just shake I those just kind of spider-man that shit you know <laughs> and then, that video is amazing yeah i just you friend know, or foe yeah i just kind of uh webmaster <laughs> the situation and i'm good you need anything what's my uh, favorite what album ween oh is it oh. ween or is it uh, like they backwards? misspelled ween big time uh my favorite <laughs> they, <laughs> they put ew -E <laughs> yeah i was like what, what? The fuck? Uh, my favorite Ween album is Quebec. Oh, Quebec. Quebec is a great album. Um, I'm trying to think. I was going to say something. I totally lost it. Something in the chat was reminding me. Oh, my favorite uh, uh, Mario 64 speedrunner just PB'd the other day. That's pretty sick. What does that P mean? Peanut butter? Out. Yeah, he, he peanut buttered. Uh, peanut butter gamer. Uh, beat his personal... Best. Personal best. Oh, personal best. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, shouts out simply. Uh, we're, it's, it's time, dude. He's going to get world record again. I can feel it. Uh, is, is that a weird... I feel like that's a weird future thing to have, like, speedrunners that you watch, like, uh, sports teams. Like, no, he's, he's got it, dude. He's got it this time. He's got yeah. the bag. I was watching uh, GDQ once, and, and Derek came in. He was like... And he just looked at me. He's like, how the fuck do you watch other people play video games? And I was like, all right, dad. <laughs> like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> like, like, <laughs> I remember. Do you remember when Reggie said that at Nintendo? They were like, oh, he did? You don't have. You're the only console at this point that has, doesn't have streaming integration. Like, wh like when is that going to change? Like, what's going to happen? And he's like, well, you know, we always like to wait to do something when we know it's fun. Watching someone play a video game. What's fun about that? That's literally <laughs> ended it. Yeah, yeah. And it was like, okay. I remember when uh, they, they were the only system that didn't have online play. And they said the same thing. They were yep. just like, we're waiting for that to be something that everyone can have fun with. But right now, it's not really yeah, where, yeah. where it's at. You know, I don't know. So we'll see. I'm curious. I need your take on Disney Sea Food and Wine Fest, specifically the bag of bugles topped with un unmelted oh, it's shredded like cheese. It's like bugled yeah. nachos. <laughs> Wait, is this a Disney Sea? Yeah, I think that so. I thought awful. I saw some on Twitter. I didn't see anything about this. Yeah. If I can't put bugles on my fingers and do like a witch I fingers, saw people I'm doing that. Them. I'm not eating them, dude. I saw people doing that. Hell yeah. Um, <coughs> I'm going to say about Disney C, I haven't made the video yet, but I'm going to soon. I am shifting my priorities, guys. I have my cameo set up. It was to get the Vision Pro. I got the Vision Pro. It's been a lot of fun. Got a lot of fun videos out of it. Uh, my cameo is now funding. I am returning to Japan. Oh, so let like if you want, Jap if you want a lot, I'm gonna get. You know, obviously I'm gonna give back. There's gonna be media. I'm gonna record videos and I'm over there. I'm going back to Pepper Lunch. I'm going back to all the. We got Pepper Lunch here. Yeah, That's but done. It's not the same. Easy. Unless you order it from a vending machine and hand them a ticket. You know that it's. You know, anyway. I just got back. Rocky, you got to go to the place with all the mirrors. I, I think they heard my stream where yeah, I talked yeah, about yeah. that. That everybody posts a picture from that. But um, anyway. Uh, but get a cameo. I'm on cameo. Look me up on cameo and you can book one for yourself. And it will go. It's all going to go towards that. Game days at Disney Sea. Hey, you know what? I'll do a mini game days there when <laughs> I'm there. Will I film cameos in Japan? Sure. Sure. Um, ad got me listening to a trap beat under someone telling me about Intuit TurboTax. This makes me want to file my taxes. 
How'd everybody ta- everybody's taxes go this year? Go ahead. Uh, I owed a lot of money, and then I'm, you did? yeah, every oh, year yeah, I yeah. don't I get fucked every year, dude. I hate it. I got I got I got a lot back. <laughs> Seven grand. Um, it was it was okay. Yeah, thanks, Biden. <laughs> yeah, no, literally, thanks, Biden. I did good. I think I just managed everything just correctly, and and turns out they were they were withholding some of my residuals from not okay on Hulu. I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about that, but <laughs> I got a few I got a few got a few pennies from that. Hell yeah! You guys watch a WrestleMania this weekend? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Was it good? What? It's gonna WrestleMania. It's gonna be good. Oh, is it gonna? Oh, yeah, I, thought, yeah. I, thought, I, I thought I I heard you say. No, no. Did you watch it's, WrestleMania? It's this, this weekend. weekend. Oh, that's this weekend. Yeah, yeah I'm, not, I'm not gonna watch it. So, uh, you know, podcast happened Sunday. Might have to miss it. No, no, no we're no, we're not for, for wrestling. I'm gonna no. see Cody finish the story, Speed dude. Ahead. No. Um, will you let Nintendo license Doug hug him so you can be in this new Smash? Yeah. I mean, if they're make us an offer, <laughs> make us an offer. Um, you gonna be in any other Hulu movie? Uh, there actually is something I'm gonna be in soon that you might see in uh, I don't know, I don't actually know where it's gonna show up, but I'm kind of cracking up because the person who asked me to do it, they've been messaging me more and more, and it's like, what? Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you guys after, but um, I think I know about this. Yeah. Um. It's. This is going to be nuts. I'm not sure what's going to happen here. But you might see me in more stuff soon. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to be like the new. You remember the um, the Regal Cinema um, quotes? The you know, before every movie. Yeah. Hey, you guys and all that stuff. Hey I'm going to be the guys. I'm going to be the new. Hey, you guys. <laughs> No, that no, she was hot. Uh, who who sucked in that commercial? Uh, n- most All, of everybody uh, else, everybody else. Which is nice. Which is nice. Uh, fuck that guy. They do a new. It's not even a new one that's replaced it or anything. But they do one that's like Pepsi stuff, and it's like a quote, like something yeah. about juke joints or something like that. Yeah. I, do, I it, it's gibberish to me. Yeah. It is like there uh, are those movie quotes. Are the yeah. I, have I not seen those movies? <laughs> They're just playing text in front of Pepsi, and I see it at, before every movie, and I'm yeah. like, "What is? Th- I, I, <laughs> I I don't. Are they quoting a movie I haven't seen? Probably. Yeah. I think I, they are. I have no idea. Is it all of all the juke joints in the world? Yeah, of yeah. All the, yeah it's, I think that's Casablanca. I've never heard that term ever in my life, yeah. and I have to see it every single time, and I'm like, I don't know what this is. Yeah, you went to one. Yep. Oh, that was cool. You I love that. <laughs> um, speaking of that, oh, I wanted to say the New Beverly Theater in L.A., I don't know what happened that they got a whole, you know, everything they play is on film. Mm-hmm. So they play the movies on film, but they also do like the trailers. Yeah. You know, so if there's a trailer, uh, you know, that like, okay, we're showing David Fincher movies tonight. They'll show trailers for his past movies all on film. If they can get the trailer on film, they'll play it. I don't know where they got them or who gave it to them or if they just scraped them up. They got the opening graphics from like two different movie theater chains. One of them was, oh shit, I can't remember. One of them was like entertainment. Maybe somebody in the chat knows. Entertainment Zone or some some chain I'd never heard of. Yeah. And then the other, yeah, was like Cinemark or something. (laughs) But they're from the 90s and it is like, 90 CGI, do, 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 do. yeah, all that flying great. into the theater, do, 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 do. all this fake CGI popcorn, do, 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 do. CGI cookies falling from the sky. Do, do. They are all like the old roller coaster yeah. one, and they play those now. I don't know what how, if they just got them, but they play those now before every movie. They play a different one, like oh, here's one from AMC in the 90s. Here's one from yeah. Regal in the 90s, and oh my god, they're awesome. It, it's like oh, this is like <laughs> half the, the, the fun of going here. So anyway. Yeah. They've been killing it on that stuff. Um, is there something each of you think the others would like, but haven't given a fair shot, like a game or a movie? What? Uh, Highlander. 
I think you'd like it, Rocco. I gotta watch Highlander. Yeah, yeah. I've always heard of it and never seen it. It's, yeah. Uh, Derek threw it on once, and I he stopped watching it, and I was like, "This is the best movie I've ever seen." <laughs> I loved it. Yeah, I really gotta watch it. Oh, Earthbound. Earthbound. I I fucking played it eight times now. <laughs> I'm go, I'm dead. I'm I'm. Good. I think you'd enjoy Mother Three more for sure. Yeah, maybe because I I once it came to Switch, I got hours into it, and I'm like, I missed the boat on this. And that was yeah. it. That was it for me. Um, I would like to try Mother Three if they ever gave it to me. Um, can we get a cock size update? Yeah, it it changed. Is it bigger, big? dude. It's way smaller now. Yeah, I was gonna say. I, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you're saying. Bigger. That's not the case for me. Um, nineties movies intro. Oh, uh, in this chat here. Um, this is the same one and just different device. <clears throat> um, you guys helped me lose my virginity back in 2007. Just want to say thanks. Long time. Wait, fan. how? I grew my hair and dreaded it because of Garrett. Thanks for the years of fun. Cool. Okay. Wait, how did? I need more information on that. D- losing your virginity is having sex for the first time. Yeah, no, but like, how did it? <laughs> how does that work? Was it like? How does that like? Oh, was it like? Yo, work? come over. I got watch DVDs. I got some DVDs in here. I got some. D- Yo, I'm watching DVDs. Yo, in here. I just saw the haunted Wii. Yeah, check out what I got. <laughs> is that what you think they're gonna say? All right. <laughs> okay. Um. Anyway, guys. Uh. Maybe let's do one last call. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, then I'm down. We'll wrap it up. Yeah, I got soon. real sleepy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk to want? old school fresh. Old school fresh. Old school, new school. Shit, I didn't go to school. Yo. Yo, hey, you're on a loop. Old school fresh. Congratulations on the uh, DVD launch. Thank you. Thank you. So I uh, I come to you this evening uh, bearing a solution to the uh, podcast intro gate. What's the what's the intro? What's the problem? What's the problem with it? Yeah, there's there's we have the uh, we have the those who are in the faction of keep keep Derek in the cut and those who who want to cut Derek out. I think I have a, a solution to solve your problems. Okay. Uh, given the advances that we have in uh, artificial intelligence today and uh, Jonathan Weiss's skills on the uh, on the editing deck, I think you're hearing my full name. <laughs> it's almost like you're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, I was like, damn, what did I do something? Yeah. <laughs> no, just uh, just out of respect for your for your your editing skills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think we can uh, leverage Jib Jab AI to uh, seamlessly replace Derek with uh, with Kevin or whichever other uh, special guest you may have in a given week. Jib Jab. I think it'll. Uh, <laughs> That's right. It's a cu- cutting edge technology if you haven't seen it yet. My uh, dad think, used this technology to send us a holiday card last year. <laughs> he, made, he made himself look like an elf. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I think they actually uh, might have uh, collaborated with Apple for uh, spatial computing on the Vision OS to uh, you can actually you can actually make it immersive as well. Yeah, I think you can. Pretty sure. Yeah. So uh, so yeah, I, I think uh, I think those of us who want to see uh, who want to see Kevin in the podcast intro uh, would uh, would pop big for that one. Pop it in, but you know it might it might change week to week. It might be Kevin. Yeah. It might be Johnny. It could be, be Nicole. Anybody. It could be might special come guest. back. It could be you know. So I hate to yeah. You know I I I don't know. I'm a little afraid to kind of budge either way on that. <laughs> That's that's the beauty of the jib jab AI, right? Just a just a small uh, text prompt, and you can and you can pop out a new one. I think we should. Yeah, I agree with the the chat. It should be all Derek. I think we should. Yeah. <laughs> that way, it's just like soften the blow. Yeah. You know? All right. Uh, and one uh, one fast food uh, question for you. Since yeah. We were chatting oh, on yeah. It earlier, I was curious. Okay. Uh, how you guys feel about the demise of uh, Boston Market? Uh, last I last just I've heard there's uh, like less than. Thirty of them left in the whole country. There were uh, still some. Damn. There was a news story today. I think the last one closed its doors. It's absolutely brutal. I used to. I, I, uh, I think I today to that was it. Destroy uh, a half dark meal with uh, with green beans and uh, and sweet potato casserole, mm. and I'll put the uh, I'll put the Boston Market green beans over Jin Tai Fong any day. Oh, no, fuck Kevin. that. I, I can already you, uh, t- team Kevin and I, Ryan. I can remember? already I can already tell you Boston Market are probably just oversteamed fucking green beans that that are rubbery and disgusting. Hey, I, I was laughing. I we already talked about this, but not on here. Uh, I'm laughing so hard at like man un- uncovers cheesecake factory 
with that they have giant freezers where they <laughs> yeah. contain all the meals that the restaurant makes. Like that was a big yeah. expose. And and someone quote tweeted that with, I think a lot of you are all really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, who was it? Somebody responded like, Oh, no found out no no uh conveyor belts or gears in the background. Not a real sushi. Yeah. Or, sushi. Yeah, su- <laughs> Not a real factory. Factory. Why did factory. I say sushi? Yeah, sushi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I said conveyor belt and it reminded me of sushi. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Well, we know what we're doing after this stream. Let's go. Dude. It's Cora. all it's all closed. R- it good. For it's, us, they'll open. It's, I'll turn it's, the fryers on. It's fine. <laughs> they'll open up for us. Anyway, turn Boston the fryers Market. fryers on for the sushi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Boston Market, I hated it as a kid. My uh, dad would Boston always Boston Market me there. Is, uh, is a good riddance restaurant. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey. <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm going to be honest. Bad experience anytime I walked in those yep. fucking doors. Oh. They, yeah, their shit sucked. They would forget shit all the time. They fucked up my meal all the time. And it was like, I would rather just, uh, this is like shit I could have got at the grocery store bakery and it would have been better. Yep. So, yeah, fuck that place. Yeah. There's only one near, there's hell. only one I know of that was, that was nearby. And I wonder what it's going to be now. Because like, I'm excited because it's like, oh, open restaurant yeah. area. Like, make, put something cool there, there. There is nothing worse, though. Let me tell you, when a restaurant closes and you're going, huh, what restaurant is going to replace it? Yep, and I know, it's I know like, you're And say. then it's like, credit union. Yep, it's always a credit union. Why? Why? Like, chill with, with I, the credit it union. It drives me crazy. Um, I know there's a Carl's Jr. that's been closed forever in San Diego that I see all the time. And I'm like, that's got to be. And they're rebuilding it. And it's like, oh, what's going to be? Chipotle. See, to me, I'd rather have the credit union. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad someone's, can get a loan. someone's saying this in the chat because I thought this was just my local Boston market. Uh-huh. Why'd they all smell weird? <laughs> they, did. they smelled so weird in yeah. there. Yeah. Anyway, you guys ever been to a Roy Rogers? No. You no. know what? I always hear, hear about that, no, but they don't, we don't have that here. That place sucked, too. Really? Yeah, we don't yeah. have that. Are you okay, old school fresh? I feel like we might have hurt you. Yeah, I'm that. sorry. Yeah, I apologize. I, I, I'm 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 pretty I'm pretty uh, discouraged by by hearing your guys' Boston market I'm takes. Sorry. To be honest, sorry. I think it's a it's a it's a quality home cooked meal at an affordable price. And now, uh, thanks to thanks to corporate mismanagement and uh, capitalism prof- profiteering, we're losing out on a uh, a benchmark American uh, hey. fast casual enterprise. Preach, brother. I didn't catch all that, but right on. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you for seeing it our way. Yeah. All right. Have a good one. Take care. Guy, guy in the chat says the Boston market hate is the most insane thing you all said what? since the Secret Life of Pets ride hate. What? See, I think Guy, I think Guy is one of the lovers of yeah. that ride. Wait, have you ridden it? No, never. Oh, okay. I was gonna get your take to kind of break the tie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't. I, I, I've never heard this Boston market like love. I've never. Yeah. Like I've never heard it either. They had good bit like uh cornbread biscuits. I don't know, that's what I would eat there. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I thought the chicken Rotisserie was kind of chick. I'd rather yeah. go to Costco get the five dollar. Yeah, one. I don't. I never really had a good time. I remember we went there for food for the Thanksgiving cast. Yeah, and it was like they co- they fouled it up at every level. Mm-hmm. It was just like, oh, sorry, we bumped you. Yeah, we're about to go live. I need this food. Oh, sorry, you got bumped. Um, what does that mean? I got bumped. Yeah. What does that mean? You forgot. That's what it means. Yep. Oh, oh, sorry, you got bumped. You didn't oh, I got bumped. Or... I didn't know I got bumped. <laughs> Sorry, George, I got bumped. <laughs> What's that mean? Um, Kevin Ferrer's ghost. Thanks for your sub. Oh, yeah. he died? Nope. Uh, <laughs> he might have. It's full. Okay, wait, wait. Guy's talking about Secret Life of Pets ride. It's full of instant classic gags. If WDI did it 50 <laughs> years ago, they'd be considered all timers. Guy, I agree with you. They would. But if they had done it, they would have added direct direction to it. They would have directed it. The one in Universal, this ride in Universal is a big room full of a hundred yeah. gags all sitting out. You're just going walking by things like, and it's like, oh, look at this. This cat's tail's on fire. Yeah. Oh, when, look at this. When, this is on a firework. When, oh, look at this. He's flying on this. It's just a room full of toys going. Yeah. And like when you're on the Haunted Mansion, they're fucking like cinematically directing you to things they're tricking you you're going into the room and you think it's going to be this and then it turns around and it's not it's that yeah yeah. and there there's just no direct dynamic directing in it it's just big room full of dog moving toys that's it 
Mr. You're, the Butt, thank you. Guy, I think we know more about theme parks than Guy. <laughs> I think it's safe to say. I, I just, it, I don't know any other way to describe it. I think it might be, I think we figured it out. Yeah. I want to, Guy, have you ever been to Disney Sea? Do you know what that is? <laughs> Mr. The Butt, thanks for your sub. <laughs> Oh man, yeah the uh, the Bugs Life show when the spiders drop down. I was, uh, I think we went on that last year, right? Yeah, uh, when we went to uh, we went to Florida, Florida. I still close my eyes during that. No, part. I do, I, I'm I a look, grown ass man, I look and I'm going straight stop, up. Stop, stop, stop. I, I, I look straight up. I love those things because it's cool how they work, how they come out of the ceiling and that, everything. That show, that show is just assault. It's crazy. Uh, Spunk Burrito, thanks for your sub. Great names. Yeah. Did y'all like Mickey Runaway Railway? I love yeah, it. Great that's ride, great. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, Mickey Runaway Ra- Railway is great. Dude, did you see that Disney showed off their like uh th- their thing for VR where you could like walk in place? Oh, the 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 floor that moves. Yeah, yeah that like, thing looks that sick. I, yeah. I, but but I mean like what are they going to do with that? I'm I have no clue, curious. but I want it. Yeah. Um Dr. Seuss ride in Islands of Adventure is an example of a dark ride with good direction that is lesser scale than Haunted Mansion. Now that's a ride that d- that's a ride executed bad, but it actually it, it is in reverse from mm. the the Secret Life of Pets. Yeah. It's directed very well mm. in terms of like, oh, you're here, and then I direct you to look at that, and then I direct you to look at that. But it's just all like cheap. It's just all like, yeah. like oh man, yeah. this is a uh, ooh. But um, I I have a great time going on it though, mm. and they don't lock you into a cock and ball torture machine. Yeah, that and they, I uh, I don't get Secret Life the of Pets. the <laughs> the motion tracking element yeah. of it. It's like, look, you're a puppy you're a dog i i don't care i i do like like the device i i yeah i might not care but i do like the device of you're a dog and then and then when it's over you find you oh you found a master like that is a i I like that as a bookend Mm -hmm. to a ride but um and also i get that not everything it needs to be made for everybody and yeah i think kids would love that ride but i'm not into it so. Yeah, I just I had so many people trying to tell me this yeah. will be your new favorite ride, and I'm just like, oh man. Yeah. Uh, the queue is great. Yeah, I really, awesome. I really like the queue. I think that is like really cool. Mm. Um, I want to go on the Kong roller coaster. That happened. Did that happen somewhere? The Kong roller coaster. They spray painted a color and then call it the Kong. Um. Only good use of smell of vision was the wet fart at Shrek 40. I agree. Yeah, I missed it. But the, that was the more, the, that was half the smell and, and also the gun, the water gun shooting you. Yeah. Like up, like, oh, like in, down your nostrils almost, you know? Yeah, it's like Flonase. That's what made that good. When he like Heisman trophies up like that. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking <laughs> like, 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 blast, uh, blast you. beats. You get spackled. <laughs> Do you guys have high hopes for MGS? I don't. I don't. I don't, know. I, I don't know what to. I really don't say. know. I don't no. know. What's your favorite outfit you don't get to wear all the time? Uh, I have a bunch of Star Tours gear. Like they sold a 35th anniversary jacket, big thick silver jacket. Yeah. They've sold a shirt, and then like this weekend they're doing like a they're putting out more Star Tours stuff. I think Guy probably saw that. Um. And I never get to wear any of it. I feel like wherever I go, it's either not appropriate to wear or it's too hot. Yeah. And yeah. so I never wear that jacket. And it's like, oh, okay. You know what? Tomorrow, I'm wearing it. Yeah, do it. We're going out t- tomorrow. I'm wearing it. Yeah. It's probably going to be cold. It, right? it, will, it will be overcast and chilly. Yeah. Fuck do it. it. I'm wearing do it. it. I'm, I'm going to look so dope tomorrow. Uh, Spunk Maria, uh, Stitch Alien Escape scared me more than it should have. There were five year old unaffected in there. I know stuff like that scares me too. Kevin Brewer's Ghost. I agree. Wasn't I'm like I'm a wuss when it comes to that. Wasn't part. there like an original ride there that was like actually really Alien scary? Encounter? Yeah, I always yeah. I, I watch videos of it. Look, it's, it's been a few rides now, it's, but it, 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 I will say like that shit. I I am such a wuss. My brain is so gullible. It goes. It's real. It is real. And I and the back of my brain has to go. You you moron. It's not. But like even even today, Star mm-hmm. Tours. It doesn't affect. I go on it all the time. But for one second, my brain will still when it starts up go. Oh, it's real. And I have to, I have to literally yeah, yeah, yeah. in a narrative in my head tell myself stop. It's not. You're good. You're fine. Okay. And like and so that's why I don't handle like snap things really well. Mm-hmm. Like again, putting on VR. When I'm playing VR yeah, yeah. games and they have like a head crab jump on me, 
I can't play those games because it's too quick. I need a minute to go. It's not real. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what that is. I don't yeah. know what you call that. Um, that good, is a problem good, I have. Good design of a ride. I mean, I guess so. <laughs> but but for me, it's like what it, I don't know what you call that kind of issue. Yeah. But I do have it. Um. So yeah, Alien Encounter definitely would i would lose my shit on that but would i do it oh yeah hell yeah i, oh, would, I would do it wish i could tomorrow mm -hmm. um but i would have to repeat to myself it's not real um i never did the stitch one i never did it no um i had the chance to a couple times and it was always told it was always like I don't, yeah, no yeah <laughs> i was always told like don't bother <laughs> but i kind of wish i would have yeah because i was gone forever yeah yeah um anyway okay the hype train is gone. Well, you, you know what, it? guys? We're going to wrap this up then. Uh, I'm checking. Let me check the stats on here, see if we're still. Uh, okay, farewell tour Blu-ray bundle is there. But again, double digits, and it's going yeah, down. Down a lot. So uh, I would get on that. Um, the Blu-ray itself by itself, selling a lot of those. Cool. We, and we still have plenty left. So you're doing good on that. I would still get it as soon as you can. But, you mm -hmm. know, you're, we're doing okay. Um the shirt, a couple sizes, like I said, almost out. Uh, so get on that soon. Um, you know, we threw some other stuff on there. Um, it's all looking very healthy. The site's up. The what can I say? I have no complaints. We're we're, we're healthy. Um, okay, cool. Wait, Katie in the chat says no. Forty five more minutes. All right, let's go forty five more minutes. No, I got, I got. A couple I thought we were going till four a.m. You could go to eleven. You could do 11. Oh, all right. Midnight. Okay. <laughs> longer. All right. Wait, okay. Wait, wait. Okay. Com right, me, compromise. Compromise. Longer. Longer. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. All right. Uh, no, we'll, we'll wrap this up. Once again, I want to say thank you to everybody. Yeah. Thank you. This was thank fun. You. If you. If you picked up the Blu-ray tonight, we can't thank you enough. We really do appreciate you. Um, and who came to the, the tour itself. Like I said, couldn't have done it without you. Any other final words? Um. Sure. Hello, brother. <laughs> no, Johnny. Oh. Tuesday, oh, Tuesday, Tuesday. That's that's uh, bullying. Yeah, that is. I don't like that. Kevin. Um. Thanks. Thanks for <laughs> watching. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to Beef and Bun myself. What? Yep. Um. I don't want to go with you guys. <laughs> <laughs>